Hello, everybody. Hello. And welcome. We're doing D Beyond, a group of friends. D&D uh, Beyond? We are not D&D Beyond, Jamie. We're doing well, D Boy Band. Not. We have no. absolutely Just not been purchased by right. Hasbro. I am completely broken. Um, <laughs> we are a group of ever shrinking friends. Uh, oh. That all like to play D&D. That sounds that really sad. Mean. It's meant to be the Esky's late. That's what that means. Oh. Oh, the only thing that's shrinking is you into the corner of your camera. Yeah, it's true. Don't draw attention to the fact that most of our players are just portraits now. <laughs> yep. Uh, apparently it's not They bad turned into real 2D hot. anime boys. Um, are we <laughs> not going... Are we not going for the full, like, character? The What's it called? of of... Uh, oh, like, VTubing? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we're going full PNG tumor. <laughs> Uh, this is an original D&D &D &D campaign set in the critical role world of Exandria, taking place about 10 years after the events of CR1. We're about two years, two and a bit years into this campaign, um, and the group have been all across the continent, uh, dealt with a myriad of threats from former party members, Sahir cultists, werewolf plagues, um, mind flayers, orcus, demon lords, and are now dealing with quite possibly most dangerous of all, a straight white capitalist <laughs> in Askel's father. <laughs> um, Wrong, though. Dungeon Master, I'm Dungeon Master Jamie, and joining me tonight are the Spice Boys. First of all, let me introduce Clued as Barnes. That's me. Esky will be joining us later as Zug. He definitely remembered that there we had D&D today as we moved it. Uh, Sai as Aku. <laughs> Luke will be back next week as Askor. Lauren as Lorian, not Roman. Why have I not changed this document? All ghost. <laughs> All ghost. <laughs> uh, and Erin as Hayden. Hey, -o. how's it going? Now, before we begin, I believe we have one announcement. Aaron. We've got one announcement, and it's actually I seeded it last week. It's that um, the lovely Jen drew some fan art for us, and I want to show it off because it's amazing. Um, best Jen, best Jen. Thank you so much, Jen. Um, so. Uh, it's up on stream now. Um, this is a portrait of Lorian. It's actually our first fan art of Lorian, so which is very exciting, um, considering he literally just got revealed the other day. He looks so beautiful and way more put together and lovely in reality than, you know, he actually is. <laughs> but I, I understand Jen was well quick on the mark with this one, and, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe he won't live up to this, uh, nice portrait reality he's, he's okay. uh looking looking very <laughs> elegant um yeah elegant he looks so whimsical and fey with the nice shine on the nose oh what an angel he, he looks very handsome so i'm looking okay. forward to getting to know him better in the upcoming session mm. yeah um yeah thank you very much jen for your love and support it's it's always a pleasure and uh hope you enjoy today's session um I think that's us, uh, in terms of announcement. Um, Flute and I may be doing an art stream very soon, but we haven't locked down the details. <laughs> yeah, so. we will. So. That art giveaway we did way back when, we're delivering, my friends. Yes. So we, we finally got all the reference images, so uh, we're, we're ready to start. So uh, we'll be locking down our time to do that, hopefully within the next week, but we will let you know on social. Your eyes peeled. Yeah. That's Great. us. Um, thank you very much, Erin. Um, to get everybody up to speed, last week, uh, the group arrived at the rally for Askel's father and um, Sylphrena. Um, there they heard the political campaign of Sylphrena. Whilst going around questioning the crowd, they realized that quite a few of the guards looked sickly. A lot of the supporters, actually all the supporters, were actually there for Askel's father and Sylphrena. And when Barnes peered into the mind of Sylphrena, as well as kind of fear and anxiety and stress and worry about the speech, there was something else, and the phrase, I guess it's for the best, went through her mind. Lorian, um, with particularly high in, uh, sorry, perception, and the rest of you, found that the uh, some of the guards, sorry, all the guards, were wearing an amulet. Um, and upon removing this from one of them, immediately felt a lot better. However, one of the airships flying overhead, I think you sent the scouts off, um, seemed to be piloted by some not particularly healthy looking Goliaths. And as one of these flew overhead, a large red seed dropped down in the middle uh, of this area. Before this, however, Barnes had warned the crowd using a um, minor illusion or minor image. So which one? Um, 
major image to uh, conjure an image of Sofrena, letting the crowd know that her arcane wards had detected a threat and that everybody should leave. You hastened this upon the uh, kind of Bloom's landing. All of the guards still wearing medallions have begun walking towards this central bulb. Only one has touched it, which has caused that guard's body to immediately disintegrate and then be reformed around him as a pretty disgusting rotted zombie. Um, you realize kind of that this has then attacked the group. You have realized the necessity of kind of keeping the guards away and removing some of the amulets, which you've done, indicated by the ones with an X on them, that are now helping you restrain their comrades. However, at the end of last session, there is a creature seemingly embedded in the center of this bulb, kind of um, causing a, a shadow to form over part of its center, which you guys have been attacking. A presence encroached upon Barn's mind, and after failing the check, we shall see what the result of that shall be this turn. So, to jump back into combat immediately, I believe it's half of the round, Lorian. Yes, thanks for giving me no notice on that. I told you that was like, <laughs> um, so just to recap, um, Barnes summoned a straight up devil, and did he yes. did he turn into his like evil magnanimous self in this combat, or was that like a previous one? Yes, he is currently, he, he adopted the mantle of majesty. So he's got little electric horns piercing up. Um, his hair's kind of flipped backwards. And you know when your hair goes back in anime, that means you you hella evil, yeah? And he has red eyes, a red star flickering across his forehead. Um, and he's well fit, because that is in the spell description, that you just become otherworldly, ungodly hot when you use this ability. Alrighty. Thank Perfectly you. normal behavior from your resident therapist. Thank you for the recap. Um, I obviously can't see any of that, um, but I'm going to choose to believe that uh, Lorian gets a bat. D D Barnes probably fails Lorian's vibe check, I imagine. Mm, so, well, I guess. So the original spell text is Fey Energy. It's been reskinned to Infernal. So, yeah, we'll say the vibes are maybe not great. Um, uh, in that case, uh, Lorian is going to sort of like feel this sort of like wave of extra planar energy and as someone who has uh, maybe traveled between planes a couple of times himself, various different places, uh, he's probably going to recognize that and be like, oh no. Um, and he's going to walk to Hayden and uh, run to Hayden and put his hand on his shoulder and uh, whisper, um, not quite sure what I'm seeing here, <laughs> and sort of like gesture to his uh, his eyes, but uh, is that normal? And uh, he will cast a spell, and will cast... Did Aku look like he was getting absolutely fucked up? Does he have, have many health points? Was like lots of damage and th stuff happening over there? I don't think so. I mean... Aku looks pretty fucked up in general, but he's doing all right. He's doing all right. Okay, cool, 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 cool. He busted. Um. Okay. Um. Okay, I don't have any spells that I think are going to be useful. Um. So in that case, then he's just going to kind of get down on one knee and sort of like aim path bonds back to sort of where he feels like the center of this thing might be. Um, and he says, um, yeah, you, you'll tell me if some weird goes down and you see something fucked up happen, right? <laughs> and then he'll just fire an arrow uh, into, the, into the guy. You All tell right. me. <laughs> Go ahead and make uh, a check for me. Attack roll, sorry. Okay, so that's uh, 20 for the first one. 20 hits. And uh, I've got a bunch of damage things to add, so that's eight. So that's eleven plus. A, I think it's a d6 for my um, hunter's mark. Yep. Uh, so that's sixteen, and I think it's a new. Uh, it's a new turn, so I can add an extra d6 with my dreadful strike. Yes. Um, so I'll roll another d6, and that's a 3. So that's a 19 for the first hit. Okay, awesome. Yeah, as the arrow, uh, you kind of 
kneel down behind Hayden, shoot your arrow off, it kind of flies into center. And previously you've seen a couple of disintegrate as the bulb kind of is moving around, but this one finds a little opening between the petals and you see it kind of indent into the uh, uh, figure and there's like a little uh, drop of green blood like slides down the side of the um, petals. Well, I would not see any of this, but hopefully Hayden does. What everyone else sees. <laughs> um, and the second hit is uh, 26, so I assume that hits us all. 26 hits, yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I just realized I'm, I was on mute on stream. But yeah, I was asking if it was bleeding green blood. Yes, it is indeed. Okay. Um, uh, as Lorian is firing off his second shot, Hayden's going to uh, respond to Lorian's request of let me know if there's anything where he's going to say, that flower you just shot is bleeding green. I'll be me. Uh, well, I'll be damned. I'll be damned. <laughs> well, <laughs> hell. Well, <laughs> shit. Um, One tarnation. <laughs> the, the last, uh, the second uh, arrow did uh, eight damage. Eight damage. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Again, the one flies in, uh, kind of in a similar spot. Um, you, I don't know. Somehow, with the hearing, you can hear these petals kind of toing and froing, and you're managing to get the gaps in between, and it's not um, getting burnt up by the flames around them. Awesome. Uh, cool, it is this guy's turn. At the effect of the last happened, the uh, <laughs> fiend, <laughs> the large devil-like creature, seemingly has relaxed his grip on this guard, um, and he is going to move 20 feet. I'm sorry, forward. before he does that, um, Lord Grungus gets a turn. Oh, sorry, little Grungus does get a turn. Problem character. Fuck him yeah. up, little Grungus. Little yeah. Grungus can go. Um, I'm so sorry, I totally forgot about little Grungus. No um, where are we? Where is he? Summon Fey. There we go. Um, Lord Grungus is gonna do a. Um, he's gonna just uh, do backhand. He's just gonna backhand it. Um, oh. Your spell attack modifier. Oh my! I do my spell attack modifier. Okay. Lord Grungus does not hit. Lord Grungus does not hit as the flames kind of batter away. <laughs> he's unable to kind of find any purchase. Like he cuts and like a little bit falls off, but it's quickly like fizzles up. It doesn't seem to have any impact on the he, he might fly structure like of this a little object. bit further up in there. Okay. Cool, cool. Yep, and it's Lord Grungus turns. Yep, so this guy kind of breaks can apart. I, can I do some rules lawyering, Jamie Goff? Yes, sure. My devil boy goes after me on my turn, so he would not, as of yet, been commanded to do anything differently other than stop the men's. Would he for this up? Okay, fine. Hasn't been his turn. Um, just gonna try and break <laughs> out. Uh, could you? Oh, uh, yeah. I'll just roll this then for you. Um, that's a strength roll. Uh, he breaks out, because that's 12 versus 6. So he's going to move. That's his action, so he makes his movement to go here anyway. Fair enough. Um, Hayden, you're up. As cool. a reminder, to set, like, set the scene, the guards on the outside without crosses are the ones that are slowly moving towards the center. They're kind of shuffling, eyes glazed over, kind of half like dribbling still, not particularly looking great. The ones with X's on are helping you restrain every single guard except for this one now seemingly are currently being held uh so this one and this one uh this one's being held by this guy this one's being held by this guy uh and this one's being held by this guy okay um cool then what i'm gonna do is as i summoned a um uh shadow blade on my last turn um i believe i can throw it again as a bonus action um uh yeah um if you drop the weapon or throw it dissipates at the end of your turn therefore uh, thereafter, where, while the spell persists, you can use a bonus action to cause the sword to reappear in your hand. So I'm assuming that means it can reappear in my hand and I can throw it, or is it just reappear in my hand? If it reappears, then you can throw it, yeah. Okay, so I can do both in my bonus action. Yeah. Cool. Because um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to use my bonus action to throw my Shadow Blade and then follow up with my action to attack um, one of the guys to just try to slow him down by shooting him in the knee. Uh, or the legs, so he can't keep walking to Fire Flower. I don't yep. want to get in melee. Um, so I'm going to throw the Shadow Blade first. Uh, yeah, at the one who's further away. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so that is a spell attack, I believe. Um, yes. So that's 
a d20 plus my spell attack. Fire. Plus eight. Thirteen? Oh, yo, the, the 3D dice that I tried to enable are showing up on the stream now. <laughs> that's uh, cool. That's 23, right? Uh, yep. Yes, that's 23. Does that hit? Yep, that hits. Cool. Uh, so I do damage. Um, it's uh. Oh, uh, sorry. Could you roll it, roll at disadvantage for going to a specific like body part and action? Oh yeah, sure. Um, plus. Uh. Uh. Okay, so it's a four. Wait, no, it's a twelve. Oh. 12. 12 does not hit as you kind of go straight for the knee obviously slightly larger it splinters off to the side and misses sure. cool uh gonna try uh now with my action with my crossbow um so first 24. uh and if i'm rolling with disadvantage 24. that definitely hits uh cool. so i'm gonna rule i'm gonna rule this will take off this is gonna take half his movement but if you roll damage as well uh yep yeah. this guy has been crippled with a uh that's 39 points of damage oh wait uh, that's that includes I... sneak attack which i'm not doing i guess so no, so that's um, minus 12. okay so yeah. it's just 12 damage yeah as an arrow kind of catches him just above just above the kneecap like in the thigh you see him kind of his face doesn't even seem to register pain he just seems to be moving forward slack jaw but it's like the leg is now lagging behind cool. uh so i've got like a wounded thing on that that's cool uh absolutely uh so those are your, your t uh, attack and your bonus action that's it uh yeah i don't want to get melee guys i'm gonna step back cool okay this guy is going to continue to hold on to his friend um and try to stop him away as you can see him kind of like there's literally fighting because these guys are moving they're not like struggling particularly but there's something slightly unworldly about the way they're moving and it's a lot of effort for these guys to hold on to them um it is this guy's turn and he, the kind of zombie near uh zug and Aku, and you see him kind of, those of you now up close, you can see that his kind of reconstituted skin kind of grow much stitched on, uh, stretched over the bone, and there's like green pus coming out of various places, and even like seemingly somehow now even, there are like small little creatures beginning to kind of almost be born in the gus, uh, sorry, in the goo and the uh, pus, and beginning to crawl down his skin. Um that's uh that he's gonna do two attacks on aku as kind of both so now both two of those creatures he seems to kind of throw out out at you um could you make a dexterity saving throw aku for me two of them please yep okay so <sighs> the first one is a nine Nine. Okay, one of the worms latches onto your arm, and you see it kind of clitch onto you, and you kind of feel like this sharp pain as it sinks its fang in, and necrotic energy kind of begins to spread, and it begins to like crawl up and seems to go to take another bite. Could you see if the second one hits for me, please? Sixteen. 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 However, as you kind of you're looking at that one, you manage to slash the other one out of the air with your spear, and it kind of drops in half and falls to the ground on the floor in front of you. However, you do take. Um... Sorry, uh, next time do one direct damage. Yep, yeah, 2d6. Uh, that's 12 points of necrotic damage. Cool, uh, so you take 10 points of necrotic damage, uh, and the, wall, the the worm is still there. So if you don't deal with it, it might do something else next turn. Um, all right, that's the end of his turn. Uh, this guard is not going to do anything either. It's Zug's turn. Um, I can pilot Zug. Me Zog. Uh, well, I thought I'm about, to pilot Zog, about to pilot Zog. pilot Zog, followed by um. Zog smash. Zog yeah, smash. Zog smash. Fo followed by Barnes. I mean, who's doing that? You guys like my Aww. my Zog impression? Yes. Zog Zog. Zog Zog. Zog would be a bit more. Uh, well, I guess I'll smash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> me, me smash? Question mark. Uh, not Zog that kind just, of work. Zog is gonna roll a thirty-two, so it's gonna it's gonna hit. It's good. Uh, of course he does. Oh shit. Uh that's seventeen points of damage. Uh minus seventeen. So I gets three attacks, I think, at this level, right? Oh yeah. Uh, oh yes. Okay, I'll just roll it three. That's a nineteen. That's actually a crit. Oh. So Zog does 
savage critical uh slashing critical damage 12 12 12 totals total damage total critical damage so that's 34 points okay uh, come through or stabby king here he uh, is 15 da- and then the next one is 16 damage does he get an extra attack if he crits i think he oh, might I, do i feel like i've dealt with this this bullshit before the dps has arrived fiery. uh Lucky, no action. Orcus Fury. Uh, other, this it's features and traits. Uh, remark, you've got remarkable athlete. Uh, one turn, you score a critical mm-hmm. hit. You can make one weapon. When, yeah, so he's going to use his bonus action to attack again. <laughs> uh, he might just one round this. Oh, it's a crit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, no, an 18's not a crit. That's incorrect, though. Um, I'll just take the other damage for it. Hey, because... it is a crit for Zug, isn't it? Yeah, it is, but it, it hasn't. Is, yeah. The weapon hasn't. It's fine. It has 9 HP. As he kind of brings the hammer down, the axe down, each slash kind of spilling out this thing's green guts all over the floor that was once a guard. Um, and now it's vaguely unrecognizable, but you do see kind of some of the friendly guards giving side eyes as to perhaps seeing their friend get eviscerated but also what could be happening to them if you hadn't saved them the final strike boom down uh, as this creature literally gets split in half and you see it's kind of skull and everything just collapsed in of itself and various pus just falls to the floor and worms kind of begin to slide out and immediately begin to wither as they no longer have their host protection uh that creature's gone oh, um, s- uh, wither wither uh <laughs> Um, that's gonna be. I'm gonna say Barn. Uh, sorry, Barn. Um, would you guys have Zarg move somewhere? Um, he'd probably run towards the next guard to be ready to restrain yeah, him, right? Him, okay. yeah. Thirty feet. Cool. This way. Uh, over here. Uh, cool. Uh, it's Barnes's go. Uh, so Barnes's eyes kind of come back, and they're completely now like uh, the, the irises are kind of completely gone in. They're completely um black and like the entire pupils just gone just nothing um left there and he will raise his sword in the air and it, rather than all of you kind of wait and expect to feel that familiar burst of energy and um hope and purpose that barnes can fill you with except this time it goes to the allies it's the enemies so all the enemies are going to gain 11 temporary hp and they're all going to use their movement which means this one is going to go here what? This one is going to move 10 Could feet. Could you give me a sample in the accent of what Barnes would be saying at this moment, please? This is really important for flavor. Yeah. The spell doesn't cast unless you flavor it. It's an inspiration, so... Mm, and I, I'm going to attempt an Irish accent. <laughs> I mean... Right, well, lads. Let's get... No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to attempt this way. Uh, bloody well get to no <laughs> <laughs> okay so that's moved the, these guys are all going to attempt to break their bonds so that's one two three um attempts to move ten i'm gonna say they roll against the strength level of the other guys that guy might succeed so i'm gonna roll for him okay this guy's gonna break through and is gonna move 10 feet here, uh, 20 feet here uh as he kind of like just the other guy just literally cannot hold him as this inhuman ability um kind of movement keeps moving kind of almost like breaks his arm getting away from the other person um as they're kind of being drawn towards this this guy however as zog just reaches and runs there can't quite stop him as he reaches out and touches the flower and immediately you see this kind of just flip, flip green flame disintegrate him down and kind of begin to reconstitute what <laughs> lauren just posted a gif in the player chat <laughs> Of, of a Grungus drip. <laughs> oh no. It's Keep really it together, un- Eric. It's really on. unexpected. <laughs> uh, 76. Cool. Uh, as, as another one of these like spawned worm creatures kind of here. But you also see there's like a, the uh, creature in the middle. Um, as this creature has touched it, you see some of the flesh kind of fall into the center of this um, flower, coalesce around where the arrow uh, entered, and you see it almost seems to cauterize the root wound ever so slightly. Um, so that's going to be Barnes's go. They're all going to go. Oh, hey, yeah, SD. Oh, look oh. what the London bus service dragged in. <laughs> hey, right on hello. time as always. Hello, hello. SG, you crit twice in your absence. Mm. Oh, nice. Because I'm not rolling. Be strong. Strong. 
You're very if I was powerful. Rolling, I wouldn't crit at all. <laughs> Glad to have back. Glad to be back. Happy Thursday. Thursday. Hello, SQ. Happy Thursday. All right, I'm back. Right. Everything up. No problem. I will just continue going where you get set up. Uh, so anyway, yeah, this this spawn creature, whatever, appears, and it seems to have interacted or healed in some way the flower for now. Um, however, on the rest of Barnes's go, uh, Barnes is going to... Which one of my fun spells would you like to use today? Do you want the Ruby Rapier stat sheet as well, Jamie? Um... Yeah, I think I think it's on the I think it's on the actions, isn't it? Already or not? No, no, it's it's all very homebrew. So uh, I'll find him. To be honest, I don't think the juicy spells are in here. That's fine. Cool. So the juicy spells. Um, juicy. I might recommend greater invisibility. That one's pretty fun if you want to be a real nuisance. That's okay. Um, just gonna look over. Look over at Lorien <laughs> um, as the person to do damage to this screen. Uh, Lorien, can I get a wisdom saving throw? Is this uh, against being charmed or frightened? Nope. <laughs> yeah, you can have a wisdom saving throw, sure. I kind of reach, uh, as Barnes kind of reaches out. Um, 15. 15, that's a fail, I think, against Barnes's DC. Yes, yep. it is. Yep. 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 Uh, Lorien, you feel your form. Kind of, you feel yourself kind of shrinking down. Your hands go tingly as they kind of shrink into your thing, and you are replaced by a dog. Is this polymorph? Yeah. Yeah, he's had this happen to him before. So <laughs> like, as this happens, he just sort of hated or probably look at his oh, shit, not again, man. <laughs> um, and just like looks down the dog. He's like, the fuck. <laughs> uh, this this good creature, dog. However, um, who sent me this? Um, the devil leaves. Devil leaves, Jamie. It's a concentration spell. It is. A Barnes. Oh, that's me. You see this happen. Almost like it's happening to somebody else, or you're watching through a window. You're, oh. You can see everything through two kind of pinpricks of light off in the distance as you're mind is separated from your body shit they're and gonna be so mad <laughs> and, as you're, and as you as your are as you're, as you're, you throw your arm up you barely feel it uh but as you're kind of you know you point over you see um lorian get turned into a golden retriever uh um suddenly your legs are taken out as almost as someone seems to thrust a chair beneath you and you look around and suddenly your eyes suddenly dim like your eyes suddenly go uh, a bit blind as suddenly bright light fills your uh, take a moment to get your bearings you're sitting in a in a large kind of woolless room kind of red carpet underneath your feet that kind of goes on forever and this ambient slightly red tinged light as you, you obviously very confused you look around look like below you and you're sitting in a chair there's a there's a table right next to you with kind of a, a cloth draped over it there's cutlery and a, a an empty plate and a, a wine goblet that's half full and on the other side there's another uh chair when you can see kind of someone uh, uh, uh someone serving facing away from you um what you can kind of make out is vaguely red skin um of the server and wings um no hair and kind of a bald red head and like a little tail flicking off and you see it kind of pouring wine into a glass for a chair facing away from you and you see the kind of hand uh reach out grab the goblet and start drinking as the waiter seems to dis seems to walk off for a second and then just vanish into nowhere and obviously i'd say for this point you're a little stunned it's happened very quickly but you're just sitting at this table with this other person um Am I? Am I under arrest? Uh, there is like a fairly like <laughs> a quite the opposite actually. What's the opposite of arrest? I'm not actually sure. Ah, uh, I guess I'll uh, just reaches for the goblet 
And a fork? Like, is it is it real? Is it tangible? It feels real and tangible to you. All right. Um. It's red. It's red wine. Very red wine. Slightly too thick red wine. Oh. Okay. Do you know? I've got to say, I'm a little confused at the moment. Um. Why exactly? Um. Who? Where? Wherefore? The chair on the other side spins, and it's now you see it's the back of the chair is fairly normal, but the front of it is kind of coated. Uh, so the outside is made of kind of these jagged black spikes, obsidian kind of spikes. And the man or man like thing sitting there, immediately you think of Tiefling, but it's it's more than that. He's somehow in that moment he's turned around, he's also grown slightly above you. Um, it's kind of like dark red eyes horns kind of leading round um incredibly kind of uh scarred and wrinkled face is like very 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 fine um kind of red robes that tail down to the floor um you see in one hand he's holding um a staff that almost seems to be broken in the like a, a knotted uh, kind of black metal staff that seems to be broken in the middle with an orb flo- like a red orb gem floating there and then kind of complete with the same kind of gem at the top with some pa- metal work pattern around it um and this like face that seems to shift between curiosity anger and merriment it's this kind of ever shifting visage that's quite difficult for you to look at for a long period of time do i recognize this bro make a make a wisdom saving throw oh a saving throw that's okay good um that's Mm-mm, 17 17 you're pretty confused the presence of this creature now it's turned around is quite bearing on your soul or body or whatever this this is wherever you are your mind something is intensely familiar you think back perhaps to a vision you had weeks ago on the way to the thing the creature the the figure glancing at you from the um watching you from the stall uh the stores in the uh open purse but no name comes to your mind oh does does this constitute as having sorted myself out or what is this an aid of um, i assure you it's not the battle i'm currently fighting i'll say that much can i go back and maybe we can do this later and that is where we will leave your turn for now okay this guy, uh, it's going to be their turn, and they're going to move 10 feet because they've been shot in the knee. Uh, this guy is going to try grab his friend again. Do. Uh, that's a 16 for him, and his friend rolled a 14, so he's now constrained again. He's going to try break out on his turn. Uh, 6 to 12, going to fail. So he, this guy's being held. Uh, this guy here is going to try to do the same. Five to nine. Okay, so he, he wins as well. So it's Aku, you'll go. I'd like to try and scrape the leech off my arm with my Yee. spear and then stab it, please. Yep, uh, absolutely. You can use a... Yeah, so it's actually just an action to remove it off. So as you kind of look with your spear, you kind of flick it off and then kind of pulls it apart and you see kind of the necrotic dead skin and as it lands on the ground you just stomp on it it just kind of squelches and yeah it kind of dies nice uh i guess as well i'll use my movement to kind of go over here next to the guy that's just transformed okay uh yep absolutely uh anything you want to do with your bonus action mm-hmm. no Okay. Oh, sorry. Why am I rolling? Uh, uh, to, cool. This one's turn. Um, flashing out. Uh, this thing is gonna kind of you see as a little pulse of green energy. Uh, I'm kind of in the state of like various little um, 
It almost looked like green pollen seeds, but obviously not. As you uh, pulses out, hitting Barnes, Aku, and Zug. Um, could each of you make constitution saving throws as you try to pff, not breathe this thing? Hitting me anyway, right? Despite... Do I get to save you, anything? You, yeah, you get to save. What? You can roll. And Zug is near Aku, so... I'll let, um, you, I'll let, I'll let you roll your own mean? save. Do you say con save, yeah? Con save, yeah. I, I probably Eleven. should let you roll it, actually. Uh, so, sorry, what, what, is, what does Aku add? Just to, to uh, the... Plus four, I think. Oh, just plus four, flat. Yep. Uh, in the case, 18. 18, uh, 18 is a success. Nice. 21 is a success. Barnes? 11. 11 is a fail. Um, you guys take... Um, Aku the, uh, 59 points on a fail. So 59 on Barnes. 24 on a success. Okay. Uh, and Barnes, 59. you can... On a fail. 59 on a fail. Oh, no, no, sorry. No, it's 50, 50. So Barnes takes 59. You guys take 25. Yo, that's a troubling amount of damage. Okay, yeah. and am I I'm making checks for for concentration? Well, you're making checks for concentration, Mr. God. No, you can go ahead and make them. <laughs> my wait, do we have Warcaster? I'm not below 100 HP, and this makes me deeply upset. We do have Warcaster. I need to plug my mic in, actually. I'll do that in a second. How does it work? It's half the damage is the DC? Yeah, so 30 is the DC. When, when I move, Wait, that's I'm like unreachable. Okay. Roll on that 20, basically. Yeah, so that, that drops Polymorph and it drops Mantle of Majesty as well. Okay, cool. So Mantle of Majesty goes as does Polymorph. Um, yeah. Cool. Could you also make a Wisdom saving throw for me? Yeah. That's a 13. Okay, fail. You're still under command of this creature uh cool uh lorian you are <laughs> as quickly as you've gone down to dog form you're snapped back as you see kind of this pulse of green just <clears throat> barely out of range of you and hayden as you're, you kind of hear through it and you see barnes kind of coughing his guts up and kind of each kind of speck or pollen that seems to landed on his mouth is causing the area around it to kind of go uh go immediately start to rot can i can i interrupt you real quick yes. um before uh lorian turned back into human um, or I guess a, a, a fae, um, Hayden would have tried to pet the dog, but then in a poof <laughs> of smoke, as the dog turned back into Lorian, now Hayden's hand is up here, and he's like, <laughs> got his hand on the top of Lorian's head, because he was about to pet the dog's head, and it's a little bit awkward, so he kind of looks at Lorian, and then he's like, uh, sorry, <laughs> he withdraws his hand. <laughs> in the middle of all this, petting the dog. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I guess as uh, Lauren probably obviously dropped his bow when he was uh, polymorphed. I don't uh, know he... It doesn't actually rule that way. It rules that you, uh, yeah, your equipment is kind of part of you. Okay. Well, he, regardless, um, he uh, sort of like puts one hand on Hayden's shoulder to steady himself, and he turns to him and he goes, uh, "A woof." Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm back. I'm back. It's all good. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> and uh, Will sort of like. I guess as a dog, he would have had a pretty good sight. <laughs> um, so probably yeah. we'll have seen uh, everything. Actually, everything happen as uh, again Aku and uh, Barnes get all fucked up, um, and he uh, will say, "Ah, uh, oh, ah, oh, shit! I think this calls for more grungus." And um, <laughs> he's going to uh, use uh, his other hand two do 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 what could what level can we do this at? oh we can do it at oh. only uh let's do it at the whatever level. Lo level little grungus needs <laughs> i'm gonna need little to grungus. know what so, situation uh, doesn't call for more grungus yeah um he's gonna uh sort of like uh hold his hand out towards uh zug and aku and uh he calls forth a nature spirit uh so it will like kind of grow out the ground um as like a little little sunflower as it opens there's a little grungus inside the flower head <laughs> and little grungus goes mm, oh, and sort of wakes <laughs> up and it's like oh, mm, 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 mm. and um it will start healing everyone in the vicinity Where, whereabouts <laughs> do you want it um, well, oh it's God. only got a five foot range, so probably here. 
because um, okay. it'll it'll get these two. Um, <laughs> so um, <laughs> he's awake. He's like pumping. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what have I been awoke? Oh shit! Like healing, he's healing. Um, and uh, so because uh, it, it says the spirit looks like a transparent beast or fae, your choice. So that was my choice. Um, and yeah, in a five foot oh, sorry, cube I... until the spell ends, whenever you or a creature you can see moves into the spirit space for the first time or on the turn it starts there, you can use the spirit to restore 1d6 hit points to that creature. Uh, the spirit can't heal constructs or the undead. Uh, the spirit can heal a number of times equal to one plus your spellcasting modifier. Um, so yeah uh he will heal one a pathetic 1d6 to aku and uh uh and zug i'll roll that now for you guys uh better than nothing uh, by the way the poison oh that was a bonus action as well yeah the, the poison mist that came out uh, killed the guard and the other guard that were holding the other guys back nearby rough it's oh sorry again. i did it at third level so it's actually 2d6 oh i'll just nice. roll another one um so yeah, so Zerg gets six and two, so Zerg gets eight, and Aku gets five. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. He looks like um, you know the um the books with like the toad and frog, and they're like riding a bike together. <laughs> he yeah. just looks kind of yeah. like that. So sat, sat on a little, oh, stood up now on a little <laughs> sunflower, just sort of like working really hard at like creating magic, making a little Beautiful. like, it's probably like spores and he's, stuff. Yeah, he's, he's countering the spores with his, like trying really yeah, hard. He's, like, he's, he's looking at the big flower like, <laughs> 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 doing his best. Um, cool. So that was a bonus action apparently, which is kind of cool. Um, uh, which means I guess, I guess, uh, Oh, there's a guy who's like running towards it, isn't it? Yes. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, Lauren will go. Uh, Hayden, if you don't mind pointing me towards uh, anyone that's about to make a real bad decision. Yeah, yeah, that one. And he like grabs Lauren's shoulders <laughs> and points him in the direction and like helps me. Cool. Oh, so, um, is this guy like incapacitated? Is his legs broken? Uh, hit one of his legs is broken. Okay, I will aim also for him as well. Okay. And um, that is a nineteen. Nineteen. Hit. Oh, yep, hits. Uh, uh, you draw a disadvantage. Sorry, with a if you're going for a specific body part. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll roll disadvantage. Uh, that's a twelve. <laughs> that does not hit. Okay. All right. Or the arrow kind of just kind of going for the specific thing. His like unnatural movements cause you to like miss as he kind of shifts along with the other broken leg. Okay, I'll try again. How can this guy's AC be so high? 13. That's a 23. <laughs> 13. And... We just saw yeah. 23 and a 26. <laughs> so I'm going for the... God, he's too strong. <laughs> you want to roll the other damage for me? Um, yeah. And he'll, you'll break oh, his God, other leg. This guy. So tanky. Um, I don't <laughs> have Hunter's Mark shot. on it, so that's 10. That's 10. 10 All right. This guy's evening. pretty close to death's door, but he's now crawling on the ground towards this thing rather than walking towards it. Um... <laughs> Uh, little Grungus, you you go stop that man. Um, <laughs> I got nothing else. Uh, little Grungus is uh gonna um sorry I keep losing him. Um, summon Fay. Okay, uh, he can do spells. Um. So he can teleport uh, up to 30 feet away. So he's going to teleport right on top of this guy's head and sit on his head. Sit no, on his head, okay. <laughs> um, and then he's going to go, I don't think so. <laughs> and um, <laughs> he is going to... Um... Can this guy be charmed? You can certainly try. Uh, he's going to uh, sprinkle his little pixie dust on him and he's gonna try and charm him oh, there a charm throw. against the other creatures dc it's a it's this just a wisdom a... saving throw yeah. uh so yes. i rolled a two so i will say this guy is transfixed by with both broken legs crawling towards he kind of looks up kind of slack jawed eyes froth like mouth frothing eyes kind of leaking this weird food looks up and just kind of stares at like the little lights is making and, and, and like, grungus goes 
<laughs> it spits in his eye. <laughs> like, it just spits straight there. Like, he doesn't even blink. It just kind of slowly <laughs> rolls off. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Is that the end of Lorien's go? Yeah, and he's charmed for one minute. One minute. Okay, cool, cool. The uh, best character in our entire campaign. <laughs> Uh, Hayden, you're up. Lil Grungus. <laughs> yeah, I love Lil Grungus. He's so cute. Lil Grungus. <laughs> um, right, okay, so all of the guards have now been incapacitated or uh, transformed. So uh, I'm going to finally turn my attention to or the actual... Killed. Yeah, or otherwise killed. <laughs> uh, so I'm finally going to turn my attention to the actual boss. <laughs> um, the right. flower, uh, or Scarlet Rot, whatever it is. Um, so... Yeah, uh, for my bonus action, um, I'm going to throw my Shadow Blade at it again. Um, okay. Okay. Because Zug is right next to it, can, can it, it count as a attack? attack? Your first attack. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it can count as. Yes. Well, Zug is next to it. Okay, so, yes. so actually, yeah, my first like, attack yeah. is going to be a bow attack, not a. Um, yep. So I'm going to I'm gonna uh, fire off an arrow um, at it. Uh, so, because it's a sneak attack, I get advantage, I believe? Yeah, Is that right? Yeah, uh, no. Some no. Things can grant, no, things can grant sneak attack without being... Basically, all, all things oh, are advantage I have sneak to be attacks, hidden but not sneak attack. Get... Okay, cool. That's fine. Um, right, so then I will just attack uh, my bow. 14 hits. Does it hit? not hit? No. no. Okay, fine. I'm gonna use my. As, as, as I kind it's of like a 19, I think. The uh, the like the, the, the it just burns up on impact. Like you're trying to hit something oh, within something man. that seems to be stopping a decent chunk of it. Okay, I'm gonna try. Uh, just for my bonus action, I'm just gonna do it with my bow again instead of bothering with stupid shadow blade. Well, um, the 23 hit. Yes. Hallelujah. Okay. Uh, because it's a sneak. Wait. Is it still a sneak attack if my first one missed? No. Okay, well, I'll do 14 points of damage. Okay. Uh, 14 points of damage uh, to this thing as the... Uh, the the area like the 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 um kind of petals around it are beginning to kind of slowly stop moving and beginning to kind of fall on the ground um, as you guys are hitting it more and more. Okay. Minus All right. 14. Frost. Uh, that's the end of my turn. Uh, why is this? Sorry. Ah! Okay, <laughs> my keyboard's breaking. Uh, please fix. Uh, okay. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, minus 14. Thank you, Hayden. Uh, it is going to be this guy's turn, and he is going to throw two worms at Zug. Zug, two dexterity saving throws for me. Cool. Uh, I think I'm muted. All right, I rolled like shite two times. <laughs> so first one was a four, second one was a five. Okay, both both of the both of these worms land on each of your arms <laughs> and begin like biting away, and you take uh, seventeen points of necrotic damage as each one of their bites and kind of even their legs and kind of the pus are beginning to drop on your arm. You just feel it burning and look down and there's just burning away. It's, well, you think it should be acid, but it almost seems like rot in fast motion. Nasty. Very nasty. Uh, okay, that's gonna be his go. Uh, this guy is gonna hold on to his friend. Uh, Zug, you're up. All right. Um, these things are grappled to me, right? Mm, the the worms uh, are, yeah. yeah. You'll need to use an action to scrape them off, but an action per worm, or you can attack them. Or I can attack them. Yes. Okay. Well, it definitely makes more sense to attack them. Okay. So I guess try and attack him. Um, yep. In that case, that is a... Are you joking? It's still 15 to hit. It was a nat 1. Nat 1 misses. <laughs> <laughs> As this creature's like biting and burrowing down, it goes under your skin, and you actually just like are a bit nervous, and you kind of skip a bit too much off the top, and you don't seem to have actually damaged it. Alright, go for a second one, which is 19 to hit. 19 hits? <laughs> you just destroy it. Yeah, the you just kind of, you kind of slash down and you're a bit less worried about hitting it and it kind of pops off and just falls All right, around it. Case, eviscerated. Try a, a second attack on the second worm with a 26 to hit. 26 hits? Yeah, this other one, you're not you're not particularly squeamish now. These things have hurt you, so yeah. throw it off. Um, 
can I assume I haven't used it? Use uh, action search and go for another attack on the flower this time. Uh, yes, absolutely. Okay, so yeah. Sudden surge of motivation, pissed off by worms. He goes for a big <laughs> slice on the flower with a 25. 25 hits. 25 hits. I... Uh, do I have a setup? No, I don't. Okay, uh, that is a. Uh. Plus eight, which is oh wow okay I rolled pretty well there uh so that is 18 points of slashing damage and uh five points of fire damage I think okay cool 23 23 points of damage yeah. uh yeah. as you kind of slam into it and kind of the axe reacts with the petals and kind of the, the weird not quite um, a flame around them uh, kind of gives way and almost seems to be retreating as the action of your a fire from your eye kind of slams and kind of burns around it. And the creature inside almost seems to move slightly away from you, like swimming through some kind of thing and huddles in one corner away. You've um, activated my trap card because I just crit on the second hit. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, unfortunately, I oh, rolled pretty low. Good, 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 good laugh, Good laugh, Doug. <laughs> uh, <that's it. laughs> so I guess, uh, alright, let me do the quick mess on that one. I rolled Voice pretty well on that first one. villain. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you activated my trap card. Um, <laughs> so, uh, 20, 22 points of slash, not quite, sorry, 22, 23 points of slashing damage. 23 points of slashing damage, okay. Uh... With a okay, twenty-three points of slashing damage, two fire damage, and then I need to roll a d12 again because that's the damage type of my weapon. Sorry, damage dice of my weapon, which is an eight, which I think would count as slashing damage. Has it got any resistance to slashing or fire? Should I just group it for no. you to make it easy? All right, all right that, okay. So that's that's eight plus that number, and then he gets to attack again because he's busted. Yep. Uh, lucky for you, I can't chain crits, or I would. And, um, <laughs> uh, that is, 19, uh, 38, because okay. 19 doubled, Sweet. plus, uh, 1, 39, plus the damage of the fire, which I rolled really high again. Damn, you know, just getting unlucky here. So that's 39 plus 8, which is going to be 47. 47. Okay, yeah. As it's, as kind of you managed to make a little indent in this thing, as you've cleared it away with the first strike, the second two strikes are straight onto whatever, like, kind of sack or central pod that is forming part of the stake. And the, you even seem to, like, as you kind of push through, there's, like, a spur of green blood. And you see that, like, you've cut, like, a little bit off of, like, a little bit of its hand is kind of lo hanging loosely. It's whatever inside has been, like, actually mauled and hit by you. And um, I still get one more swipe. I bet, Lauren, what were you going to say? I was just going to say, at the start of your turn, you should I should have restored 2d6 hit points to you as uh, Grongus is like... <sighs> do I have to roll the d6 or do you roll no, the d6? No, I shall roll it for you. Okay, cool. All right, well, uh, the last uh, swipe is a... Not a crit, but it's a 21 to hit. 21 hits. Okay, uh, in that case, it'll be quick. That is... Uh, 17 and, uh, 24. 24, awesome. Points of damage. Uh, okay, yep. Uh, awesome. It's, well, they can be particularly happy. Uh, yeah, so like in, in his pure rage, like from getting a couple of leeches slapped on him and missing the first one, you then you just see him kind of get furiously just slash the other two off and then like, almost perfectly pivot into three massive strikes onto this thing that just seem to cover him in yeah, blood, ichor, like, and gore. <laughs> there is a whirlwind of blood and gore. As you completely ignore the creature that flung the worms at you, just focus on this massive bulb and just chop away. And as kind of the flowers fall to one side, the creature inside is almost squirming and moving away. And you can all now see that it's kind of translucently through the uh, whatever, like, sack or egg or whatever is around it one of the hands is kind of holding loosely as zug seems to have chopped at this creature's uh, wrist grungus but... shouts woohoo as he heals him <laughs> for six six more six hit points got it <laughs> yeah 
You can have okay. two face spirits up at the same time, right? Uh, uh, because Lauren? because um, Lil Grungus, the original one, does not require concentration because right. it's part of my features. Uh, but uh, let me double check if if healing spirit healing spirits concentration. Mm -hmm. Okay, so on Barnes's turn, Barnes, long away. Not obviously, your eyes are pretty focused on the figure in front of you. You hear, oh, nourish me, be the fertilizer. I'm so confused. I really just, there's so much going on so, for me at you, the moment. You see yourself walk forward and reach your hand out, as if you see it, to touch this thing. Oh, and as you do, no. you kind of see yourself pause as you're about to touch it. And the figure opposite kind of... What was the last thing you said before this? Gosh, I don't know. Something no. inane. <laughs> you were like, you can send me back now. Oh yeah, I really have to be getting back. <laughs> Are you sure you want to go back now to feel this? His eyes are going to slide over to the window of vision, slide back to the guy and be like, well, do you know, circumstances have somewhat changed in the last six seconds, so... No, do you know, I'm good. No, sure. Let's stay no, here. Let's chat. Particularly embarrassing who you used to be. I'm a therapist. I really don't. I mean, right. I'm going to assume. <laughs> oh, you're laughing. Right. Well, obviously, I'm really missing quite a large part of this. Do we don't do this remember. normally? No. You don't remember who you are or who I am. I have a medical degree. Uh, I had a house in Gordranus. How fascinatingly disappointing. Oh, I don't say that. No, my father always said I was disappointing. Not you two. Mr. Could I have a name, please? I don't like talking to shadowy figures without names, you know. Asmodeus, at your service. <laughs> oh, no, but you don't mean, like... You, I mean, you don't mean Asmodeus Asmodeus, because that would be like I'm sitting having wine with a... Well, not, not wine. This isn't wine, is it? I'd be having blood wine with a god or something. He just stares at you. Oh, hells. Wow. What on earth did Vaspin Cloras do to me? I believe we have much to chat about. However, the magic that binds your body together is mine. You are mine. Pledge yourself to me once more in this new life. Oh. And I can stop what's happening out there to you. So, that's a sort of like, it's not just a deal with the devil sort of thing. It's like deal with the god king of all the devils. Which just seems like something, I don't really understand why I would have gone for that in the first place. So, ah, oh, I mean, but I don't want to be disintegrated by a giant flower, so. Ah. Oh. I'm sort of caught between a chair and a flower, I guess. So, sh sure. Uh, what does that entail, exactly? And once you're done, for heaven's sake, get my damn eyes back. And he snaps his fingers. Oh. <laughs> um, and you're thrust back in. You're in control of your character. You're reaching out towards this thing. Go. I'm gonna pause wring his hands slightly, look around, give the nearest person to him a little a little nervous wave, maybe kind of lean over at Zug and, and Aku in the various stages and be like, oh, hey, I'm back, guys, don't you worry. I got this. Oh, oh dear. Um, and he's gonna uh, hex the flower on his bonus action at... Mm. Fourth level. No. No, I'll just hex it. I'll just generically hex it with a first level spell. So that guy is gonna need to make a. What spell? What save? What save? I can't find him. Why does it say what save it needs to do? Hex. There's no, there's no save for hex. Oh! It just appears, like, I just like, do it? Purple. I just 
Do a hex? They like, yeah, they were like purple barbed halo. Actually, actually no, wait. Outside. This is this is this is the the fun hex. This is my special hex, but I do just I do just apply it. Okay, yeah. so it works the same. Yeah, little like right. red halo appears. Little like jagged edges popping out of it. All right, and since I am in melee, I'm gonna gonna stab at it with with the rapier. Um, the ruby rapier, which he now looks at with a bit more of a quizzical sort of, wait, where actually did I get this? Oh, shit. Um, but he's going to go for it anyway. Um, so we're going to make a stab at the guy. Oh, but Pog, that's a natural 20 with Hexblade thingy. Okay, oh, okay. okay, cool. We've not had to do this. That's very cool. Um, so it doesn't, okay, it doesn't actually do a, dice roll that's cool sorry i've not actually had to use this thing yet so give me a sec i do an extra d10 thingy okay 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 i know what i'm rolling good um so that's doubled to 14 that's doubled to 16 so that's 30 plus 6 plus 11 41 points of damage Okay, as you reappear, this creature's kind of going out, but this time as it's kind of exposed itself a little bit, except expecting you to hand... 43, kind of, sorry, kind of, it's 43. Yeah, whip down with your sword and kind of pull it in, and as it's kind of the creature inside's moved towards you, clearly expecting whatever it was going to do to you, the uh, the blade plunges, plunges deep into its shoulder, and you see whatever it is, and kind of recoil, and a lot of the fluid kind of spills out and begins to, like, slightly disintegrate um, the tiles around you. Okay, good, good. I can I can stab things as well. Great. Um, so that is action and bonus action, I think. So I'm not going to move because I'm standing next. To... Actually, yeah, I'm gonna take a step back and hope it doesn't lash out with stuff. Okay. Um, this guard under Little Krongus is uh is charmed, so not moving. Uh, this one is going to attempt to escape and move towards the thing. Uh, that's a natural one for the one attempting to escape. So, no worry there. Aku, you're up. Aku gets healed immediately. Mm, why how much? Uh, <laughs> follow up, find out. Um, healing spirit. Uh, DD6. Uh, by eight! Well, Grungus is like... Thank you. So, yeah. Jamie, yep. you said the flower looked kind of rough. Can you describe how a flower looks rough? I know that you said there's something in there, but we can't really see it, right? Yeah, so it's like, so there's a kind of this central sac seed thing that every time you hit it, fluid seems to come out, which is what you guys have been doing when you're doing damage to, but the petals around it are a lot less vibrant. There seems to be less kind of protection around it. The seed, the sac inside, there's less fluid, like, protecting this creature as it's leaking out of various places now. Okay. Well, using my bonus action, Aku is going to clasp his uh necklace his sign of sylvanas and he is going to use vow of mt against the flower um and he's gonna attack it i guess okay go for it so my first attack is 21 uh 21 hits absolutely and my second attack is the 23. 20, both of them hit. Okay, so that is 27 points of damage. 27 points, okay, awesome. Uh, this is a uh, evil, undead, whatever you wish to say, creature, if that affects your roll. Uh, I think this, if, whichever one, if the spear is in the right one. Um, I've lost track of where my spear is, so I'm gonna say because I use my bonus action, I probably don't get a plus. Okay, cool, cool. So yeah, uh, does that both your attacks, 27? Yep. Yep, okay, cool. Yeah, Aku, as you kind of swing in, this time the defenses are down on this creature, and um, your spear uh, catches each one of the two, and kind of the last two of the kind of remaining fluids that are open as you, um, your spear catches this creature as it kind of reels away from Barn's sword as the other side kind of seems to be thrashing around, realizing there's not a lot of space left, and also seems to be getting attacked from multiple sides, um, and you kind of pull it back. Your spear is covered in this weird green kind of acid that, as it drops to the ground, immediately starts this. Uh, it's not quite burning it away. It's almost as if the stone is like crumbling. Cool. 
Um, okay. This time, as whatever petals seemingly stop fall, the kind of seed or thing in the center completely cracks open. The, uh, kind of whatever is in there kind of flushes to the ground, and a semi, like a, a pretty damaged figure now. Uh, you imagine, um, you can see each kind of your marks you've left on him have done a, uh, significantly more damage. Uh, yep, yeah, there he is. Uh, a fairly, like a very uh, kind of stretched skin skeleton, almost looking a bit like the other ones you fought, although clearly as he kind of steps himself to his feet, there's more kind of awareness, posture, and intelligence to him. Um, traped in kind of the red, uh, these red um, uh, kind of bandages that kind of seem to go across the kind of effect of the, um, uh, sorry, the, the weird kind of liquid dripping off him mouth hanging ever so slightly open into the side and kind of these amber eyes and barnes despite everything despite what like everything that's happened you feel this intense allure of this creature like he's almost willing and pulling himself towards you um and this creature seems to do the same it almost seems to drop attacking like even noticing you guys turn towards this creature almost like eyes just completely glanced over and uh is obviously about to move towards it um i'm gonna add his turn is it hot no. Okay. <laughs> it came out of a fluid sack. I mean, you never know. Didn't we, we all, all kind of come out of a fluid sack? <laughs> Once upon a time, we all came out of a fluid sack. La Lorian was grown like a flower. Okay. But I could have well, came out of a this fluid sack. This guy was grown hot. in a flower too. Okay, uh, let me see sack. if it gets its yeah, attack back. It does flower. not. I just hear it say. Someone is ruined. I harvest the Red Queen will have none of this. Um, Not and... this bitch again. <laughs> uh, and we will go ahead with this guy's attack. Um, he is going to reach out um, and target who hit it the most? He's going to target Zug. Zug, could I have a constitution saving throw, please? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so... That's a 14, but if I fail it, I'm going to use a dominant roll. You fail. Alright, yeah, I'll roll again then. Uh, con saving throw... Oh, my lord, are you serious? Yeah, I fail it. Okay, Just um... roll a 4 and a fucking 2. Uh, as he reaches out towards you, um, uh, you feel kind of the area he's pointing at, kind of, there's like a little explosion, um, and immediately you feel sick, you feel like you're about to drop to the floor, um, completely energy leaves you, and your muscles just start, um, kind of shriveling, um, all around the area, kind of pointing at, kind of immediately from the epicenter round, um, and it looks like one half of you just goes for a second, looks like you're about 200 years old and it's like a little bit of you push it back fights and it kind of pushes out this magical effect uh but you do take 48 points of necrotic damage um as he casts blight at fifth level uh, i have um, such a high con modifier apparently every one of my con saving throws is just uh, hot garbage you also see as he kind of like uh emerging from his side um, there's like he pulls what seems to be a bone and he kind of pulls out a bone greatsword um moves over to oh, a what now oh, oh what? like kind of a, a great sword because we have a bone he's like pulling more of it and like the the um the area that kind of the fluid around seems to coalesce and needs to permanently be dripping off the edge and as he kind of picks it up and slams it down towards barnes he pulls his uh, bow now <laughs> Got the drip gonna, though. He's gonna, uh, he's gonna oh, hit he you. got the drip. He's gonna hit you with his bone. Yeah, that's that's that's. <laughs> I'm boned, that, guys. That's, that's thirty-two to hit. <laughs> yeah, that hits me. But I'm gonna shimmer and use classic misdirection as Barnes kind of says, "Oh no, I've really had enough of this today." <laughs> and he's gonna shimmer. Um, he doesn't have another friend to hit in range, so it's just gonna miss Barnes by default. Okay. 
Great, he has two attacks. Oh, Second one. um, we're gonna we're, are we gonna swap places? We do swap places by default anyway. Yeah, the air kind of shimmers around them, and we oh, trade. Kind of, spots. He kind of like slams down on the ground, and the strike is phenomenal. Like it slams in, and tiles just explode around. And as he kind of like looks confused for a second, just whips round, and in the whipping round, the sword cuts round again. And actually, um, that needs a wisdom save to succeed. Sorry, my bad. Oh, he needs to make a wisdom save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, that's a 24. Oh, never mind! <laughs> <laughs> okay, as a sword comes down, you move, and kind of in the action, he realizes what's happening and whirls round with unnatural speed uh, and slices you upwards. That's t how much damage? Four. Uh, I'm scared. Oh. 46. He doesn't look particularly great, this guy. Uh, he's like, one wrist is hanging off. There's lots of scars all over him. You worry... You think you might have done quite a lot in his uh in his little cocoon. Uh, that's twenty one points of slashing damage. Twenty one points is cool. Uh, yep. followed by twelve points of necrotic damage. <gasps> okay, all right. Um, and that was both attacks, right, Jamie? <laughs> no, that was just one. Um, as he makes his second one with the great sword. Great. Uh, twenty. Yeah, that hits. Okay, forty six. Uh, that's 21 points of slashing damage, uh, followed by, oh wow, that's a high roll, uh, 16 points of necrotic damage. Oh, Are you unconscious? unconscious. Yeah. Uh, as this attack kind of, whoosh, each one of these great swords, like, uh, one of them just knocks you down and where it cuts you, you feel it kind of, all the acid immediately drip into your skin and almost like worms begin to kind of move their way through. Uh, and as you like, look down at your skin, you don't see the second one, uh, that almost with the blade, it slaps you in the head and you kind of, you'll see stars and immediately fall to the ground. Um, yeah, he kind of looks down and his last thought before unconsciousness at the worms is, well, I guess this does sort of happen to zombies, doesn't it? And uh, he collapses in uh, a second. Sorry, and you're up. <laughs> okay. Um, Lorian is just gonna look at Hayden and say, uh, "Well, now your friend here is passing the vibe check, so I'm just gonna." Uh, and he's gonna uh, run over to Bonds, kneel down, and he says, uh, Buddy, I don't want no more of that devilish behavior now. That's what got you into this mess. And he will grab him and dimension door with him. Um, to... Let's say... Alright, you can both here. move yourself. Qu question. It has to be a willing ally. Am I willing when I'm unconscious? I will say that if you if you wish to be willing... I wish to be willing. willing. <laughs> you wish to... That's fine, yes. Yeah. Complicated subject. <laughs> <laughs> did you get did you give written consent to be saved before you <laughs> i wrote a contract earlier in the day we stipulated all the terms <laughs> saved yeah consent to dimension door okay cool and we're moving like about uh let's say uh 50 feet north uh let's move up there just sort of out of shambling range of this guy um and um how is fucking goodberry in action jesus christ okay um <laughs> where are we going we're going over here cool and i must have something else i can only help summon one healing spirit oh actually can i dimension door if i'm if the healing spirit is will i lose the healing spirit no, no, it's not. Dimension door is not concentration, right? Or do you need to be within a certain range? Uh, dimension door is not concentration. So I can, I can. No, I don't need to be in a range. Once it's up, I think we're in range anyway. No, yeah, you should be good. All right, good, good. Cool. I didn't know if canceling under the spell would change it, but yeah. Um, and I think let me just double check if there's anything else that I can do. Um. Nope, so uh, now it's still Grungus' turn. Okay. Uh, he's gonna pop and teleport in a, a little burst of- a little cloud of bubbles. So like- like soap bubbles. Um, <laughs> about- about 20 foot above the head of this gross naked dude. Um, and he's gonna go, mm-mm, 
and uh, he is going to uh, cast Magical Darkness around this guy so he cannot see anything. Okay. And Magical that does not darkness. interfere with the charm that is on um, the other guy either. Okay, it's 20 foot, right? Uh, let me double check. I just said I just said I wanted him to be twenty foot in the air above. This no, 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 sorry. Uh, twenty foot is a magical darkness. Right. Uh, I don't know. Let me double check. Uh, magical darkness. Summon Fey. Um, fill a five foot cube with magical darkness. Five foot. Okay. Yeah. So it's around his head, basically. Yeah, that's cool. Cool. There's like a little cube in the center there, pretty much engulfing all of him. And he, okay, spits, uh, he spits on him as well. <laughs> you, guys will, you guys will see him just go... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. is, it like, is it like a normal spit, or is it like the tobacco chewing spit? It goes... <laughs> <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite vile, actually. Okay. Hayden. Uh, so... Uh... Just because I, I have to get it off my conscience, I realized I made a I made a D and D boo boo last turn. Oh, I no. I did an attack on my attack and on my bonus attack, uh, so I attacked twice in one turn, which normally I shouldn't be able to do. But one of them I missed, so m maybe you'll forgive the me. The first or the second one? The first the first one missed, and then the second <laughs> one hit. <laughs> you shouldn't have done damage. Okay. I I mean, although to be fair, just, to be fair, if I'll I just, just if I'd used both of those turns to do a steady aim, then I would have gone to roll three times. So true. I'll just add an arbitrary amount of health to this guy. Oh no, three thousand. Three thousand. No. Hey, this was <laughs> when he was still a flower. Arbitrary. He was still a flower. <laughs> so that was the previous, the previous phase. Anyway, um, <laughs> with my bonus action, I am going to. Resummon my shadow blade and throw it at this guy. Um, yep. And I'm going to aim to kill. Uh, well, I knew where he was. Wait, no, he's just got he's just got magical darkness around his head, right? So I can still see his body. Are we doing it the entire pillar, or is it just around his head? It's just around his head. It looks really okay. Dumb. That's fine. You can see his body. Yep. <laughs> cool. Uh, so I'm gonna um, throw my shadow blade at him. Um, so one g twenty plus eight. Um, that's a 17. The 17 hit. It does not hit. What? The okay. AC is seven, is it, sorry, his AC is 18. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I I can accept failure. This is fine. Um, I'm gonna move 30 feet. Uh, which way do I want to move? Hmm. You hug the flower. I'm gonna move 30. feet. But to here, um, yeah, to here, to this little lantern, uh, bonk, there is my movement, and then, um, for my action, I'm gonna attack with my crossbow, um, so. Okay, go, go for it. Uh, it misses, I rolled a 14. Here. These are some. These are some bad rolls. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not having a good it, combat it, round. It was. It was. It was. Uh, Sai last time, and you this round. <laughs> no, no. Anyway, that's the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, it is this guy's turn, and he is gonna start moving towards this person. Uh, Aku and uh, Zaki both get tax opportunity if you'd like them. Uh, of course I do. Yeah. Would uh, we really say no? Not true. A twenty-four. 24 hits. Uh, Aqua, you have Sentinel, don't you? Yep. Yep. Sorry, he <laughs> yeah, won't move if, if you hit him. Um, uh, oh, yeah. For me, he took... Uh, uh, 24 points of damage. 24 points. And for Aku? Well, I had 26 Ooh, hits, so he doesn't hit. move. Woo, and that is nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. Okay, cool. He doesn't move, uh, so that's fine. He's going to fling two more worms, one at each of you. Could you both make um, dexterity saving throws for me? Clarify, DC for this is 12. And uh, I got 15. Hitting. I got 15 this time. <laughs> nice. Uh, an Aku? Uh, a nine. No, it's a 25. Yep. This time you both... 
15 this time. You know what's coming as kind of the, the arms kind of flame towards you and the worms fly out this time. You both know to uh, kind of dodge them, get out of the way, and the worms kind of wither immediately as they land on the floor, deprived of their host behind you. Um, this guard. This other guard has stopped struggling and has stopped trying to move towards this creature now. Um, you notice all the guards of the medallions have now stopped trying to move, and their eyes have gone like glazy, and they're laying still, but they're not actively trying to move towards this thing. Um, Zarg, you're up. So, Zarg kind of looks quite pissed off, angry, as you would do as a half-orc in the middle of combat, who's taking a lot of damage. And he goes to charge past this dude in front of me, yep. and get in range of this dude, and go for like a... I guess what would be a blind strike on it? Because he's in darkness, right? Does it work no, both so ways? So no, because you, you can't see... He can't see you, but you can see him because you can see his body. You just can't see his head. It's like oh, he's wearing a big black ha like, oh, snooker see. ball on his head. Yeah, so yeah, Zark yeah. goes for like a very aggressive like overhead smash. So I'm going to take a minus 5 to hit for a plus 10 to attack. And while he goes for the overhead swing, <laughs> he kind of scoffs as he says, Harvest. It's illegal in a mon <laughs> to practice farming in urban areas without a permit! <laughs> <laughs> and that is a 23 to hit. 23. We just yeah, saw the That's it. That's it. Over. That's it. Go for it. Giant Smack. overhead slash, which does. Um, was a oh, where's my history? Right here we go. Uh, so that is sixteen, <laughs> seventeen, and then I'm gonna oh, yeah, seventeen, eighteen, and then I'm gonna use savage attacker to roll the attack dice another time. Do that once per short rest. So d12. So that's seventeen plus eleven, which is gonna be twenty-eight on the first hit. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, absolutely. As you kind of say that rage filling you, he kind of like looks around, like where is that <laughs> voice coming from? And with all the force you can muster, you slam sword like going through him and slamming onto the ground. As you kind of cut a large swathe of his body, as like skid off the kind of rolls and begins to immediately fester as it hits the ground, and he kind of takes a step back, like obviously stunned by the ferocity of the uh, hermit. Attacking part. <laughs> uh, permit attacking um, uh, Rust. Your go. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, I only get another couple of hits, so that's going to be 25. Oh, and you get healed by the spirit as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know how much I do. You're going to have to work it out how much I get from Grungus 2. So, second hit is a uh, 25. 25 hits, yep. Okay, and that is a 7. Plus. 16 16 damage no not not quite 16 plus 7 oh yeah that hits sorry yeah yeah no 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 in total 16 plus 7 so oh minus 7 20 okay, that's fine. 20 23 that's fine yeah and that, that if one hits and then the final uh, attack I think. and then the final attack is crit. a no 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 17 not quite missed the crit 17 misses point. no 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 total is 17 plus 31 to hit. 31 and then to I hit. Okay, Jesus. Okay. You're this close to being it, to being crit again. And that's a... Uh, 16, 18... 20. 20. Alright, okay. Uh, he looks pretty unsteady on his feet. Uh, kind of swaying from side to side. Like, sword is almost being used to prop him up at this point. He kind of like, looks around, amber eyes, staring at you. Um, what's up? Permit. <laughs> um, Barnes, death saving throw, please. Oh, can we? <laughs> um, yep. Natural twenty. Uh, you are stabilized. Pog. Come back on one HP as your eyes kind of flash open and you look above you and you just see Lorian gazing down at you. <laughs> well, not gazing, but looking down. Fine. Lorian, I sort of think I might just stay down here for the rest of time if you don't mind. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that's probably for the best. Okay, <laughs> he's just gonna like curl up against Lorian's chest and just not look at what's going on. Um, Aku, uh, your go. Um, oh. as you kind of, what? Sorry, what? Lil Grungus healed Zerg for five points. 
And Aku as well, I think. And he heals Aku for nine. And then he sort of, like, is dancing on his sunflower, sort of, like, shaking his magic, kind of, like, bang, bang. <laughs> and he, like, like, looks nervously behind him at, like, Zook, like, sort of, like, carving something in half. And then also, I think for the first time, he probably sees this thing appear for the first time. And he just goes, like, no, 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 no. And he sort of shrinks back. And then the flower goes like this. And it just goes back into the ground. And he just appears and goes, no, 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 So the main dude is still alive, right? Mm, barely. Well, if he's barely alive, then <laughs> I'm gonna hit him. Okay, you run past the uh, no longer existing flower as it retreats into the ground. <clears throat> My first attack is 20. Uh, 20, uh, so as you kind of go in um, to thrust, um, you see that alongside you, uh, alongside kind of your hand on the spear, there's kind of a slightly disembodied uh, gnarl hand seems to be striking with you, um, aiding the spear as it thrusts forward. Um, please could you have advantage on that one? I, I had advantage on that one because oh, of my... <laughs> That's fine. Of my, um... Your spear. No, because of the bonus action I did last time. Which right, is... okay, fair enough. That's fine. Um, oh, femnity. Roll, roll damage. <laughs> Thanks for the flavor. The spear's still there, though. <laughs> <laughs> the hand's still there, even. Uh, so, 13 points of damage on the first attack. 13? All right, awesome. Um, he's barely alive. <laughs> and 23 to hit on the second attack. Yep, that hits. 11 points of damage. 11, plus, okay. Uh, plus, plus 4 points of damage. 4 damage. Absolutely. As your first one, like the two, your, your land hearth strikes kind of turning it together, um, you pull back. Um, the second strike, sorry, and the second strike, um, as he kind of falls to his knees, um, put the uh, spear above your head, slam it down kind of in where his collarbone would be. Um, and as he kind of puts it, you kind of get up, it stuck, and you see like Lan Haras' hand slam down on the uh, pommel, um, and it kind of pushes straight through him. And as he kind of like, kind of, you see it push down almost like splitting wood, he just kind of like carves a half in front of you. The skull kind of let falling on the ground, just lying away from him. The rest of him disintegrates, and you just see like the skull lying to one side with kind of the amber eyes ever so slightly still ablaze. Um, however, um, he is for now at least no longer part of combat. Oh, thank god! Um, Great success, Aku. Anything else you'd like to do with your turn? <clears throat> Well, as I always do on a turn like that, look smug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lorian, you're up. Uh, Lorian uh, sort of like gently drops Barnes um, onto the ground. He says, well, I'm glad to see that you're all right. Um, well, I'm not glad to see it, but you told me you are all right, so I believe you. And I uh, understand I'm that not. <laughs> that's all sorted out back there, and I, I cannot find myself involved with this sort of ruckus so I, I will see you guys later goodbye and he's gonna miss me step <laughs> fuck the fuck away uh he does not want to be caught up in any of this and uh with a little poof uh you go come on grungus let's go and uh look grungus will also vanish with a poof as well okay are you you're just misty stepping and running or are you misty stepping and hiding uh misty stepping and Running. <laughs> running. Running. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Uh, fair enough. Uh, Hayden. Uh, so is this guy here still an active enemy? Yes. Cool. Then I'm going to use steady aim because I'm sick of missing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, I will roll three times to see what my hit is. Um, so first roll is 13, second roll is 25, third roll is 19. So does a 25 hit? Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Good. Um, uh, trying to click my damage. There we go. Uh, so because 41. he's... Yeah, because he's within five feet of Aku and Zug, I get a sneak attack. So I do 41 points of damage. 
Okay, as, yeah. a, uh, as, <laughs> as he kind of like, this creature is like transfixed on like the skull that's been taken off. You see him kind of like reaching out uh, as uh, <laughs> as completely transfixed on something else. Both you, both the Aku and um, Zark turn around to look at him and there's just a, as like a, 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 a bolt, uh, an arrow just straight goes straight through his head. You see it kind of concentrated on like both the eyes immediately get extinguished and he kind of just falls over, um, kind of collapsing on the ground um, as... as he is defeated. <laughs> As, uh, as I uh, lower my bow, I kind of uh, look to Aku and kind of do one of those hmm, kind of like <laughs> <laughs> upward head nods. <laughs> so, um, and as that is a pretty good point to take a very quick break, um, as we've been playing for a little bit, um, could people want to be back? Uh, let's try to say 10 to, so a quick five minute break, if that's okay for people. Five minute break, uh, yeah. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys cool. in a bit. Welcome back, um, the group have defeated whatever weird creature came out of the seed has saved some of the guards um and is now and are now presumably uh, going to begin regrouping um the group managed to stop some of the guards like uh, just to say to activate their um amulets stop some of the guards reaching it do quite a bit of damage to the creature long before you actually engaged it directly and it engaged you directly however barnes was put on the grounds <laughs> we'll need to probably need a little bit of healing however yeah uh obviously people like this it's only been like 30 40 seconds in game um people are still kind of running screaming from off to the side the guards around you are those those who were crawling towards are quite dazed still wearing the amulets the one that aren't are uh, doing better and are trying to try to pick up their friends or look around or didn't really react to you kind of um well reacted obviously but we're still trying to hold on to their friends to stop them um I'll probably say that in the aftermath of this, you guys have a few seconds to regroup, do what you want before presumably loads of people come rushing in to deal with this problem or other stuff happens. So, so I would like to you wake up, uh, when you wake up, you realize that uh, Lorian's obviously fucked off. He said bye, but you have noticed that you have 10 like very delicious looking berries in your hand. And you're like, how the fuck did these get here? What the fuck is going on? He just looks to them and tries to remember what the plate was in front of him in his alternate dimension mind prison. And just, oh, whatever. And just shoves them in his mouth in one. You get ten hit points. And actually, I got uh, I got seven HP from Aku killing the things that had Hexblade's curse on it. So that's cool. Yeah, he probably lies on the ground and stares at the sky. You see Zug kind of like grab his shoulder from the side that got smacked by a blight and kind of just like click it back into place as he <laughs> takes second wind and then just kind of stands up looking a little healthier. You know, I could and... know what a permit was. Degenerate. <laughs> I was just gonna say, Aku and Zug might notice that they just have like kind of glitter on them. They just have a bit of glitter on them. He just sneezes really loudly. Aiden's gonna approach a Zerg and I. Uh, eight of them. I kind of feel like we probably shouldn't stick around here. Oh, you don't want to check if the gods are okay? I, mean, I feel like every time that we try to save a town, we end up getting accused of trying to kill people. And I kind of shot a couple of guards. So oh, maybe we go? True. That is very true. <laughs> Aku, like, raises his eyebrow at Hayden and says, Don't you think running will make us look more guilty, Hayden? At least we uh, have a chance of getting a away. Look around. Uh, how, how far away are the crowd? And, like, I assume they're all just staring at us. The, ones uh, the crowd's kind of probably at this point they've been like running and those who kind of stragglers are looking back seeing you kind of standing up defeating the creatures uh i'm, I'm just beginning to kind of stop pause and look back um i'll say this guard has noticed his friend come over uh and this is the first guard and it's kind of stumbled over to you um and you see him kind of he still looks quite sickly but the yeah, evidence kind of dropped back as i quickly grabs his wizard hat puts it on and like turns back into a kind of slightly like it's like Essex Thalus but his eyes are slightly too far apart 
<laughs> like, First just, like, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit like Pogloss. pound, a little bit like pound shop Essex Bayless, like <laughs> discount Essex Bayless, <laughs> the cheap knockoff produced in a factory <laughs> under a field, the, the Vietnamese sweatshop Essex Bayless. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then gives he just gives like two quick thumbs up with a stupid looking smile to uh, Haku <laughs> and, and Hayden. Uh, so Kako comes over, like, sees this transformation happen, and obviously he's like, does a little double take, like he's seeing things on, <laughs> on this of all day. <laughs> what, what, what the fuck has happened? Well, it looks like we got attacked. And you lot got mind controlled, which is not very nice. Uh, kind of looks down, I don't know. But... What is? Are you, are you working for Sofenad? Is that the Guardian, the warning? Ah, uh, he looks over at the other two. <laughs> like, kind of, ah, uh, he gets a very obvious push for someone else to interject and say something that doesn't involve incriminating ourselves. <laughs> Sucks grown so much. Normally he would just say incriminating stuff, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that was totally us! <laughs> the character growth. Oh no, we're not working for them, we just came in. Uh, illegally. <laughs> <laughs> we just thought we'd intervene, for fun! <laughs> <laughs> we're not oh, actually yeah. supposed to be here. <laughs> uh, and we also did a bunch of other crimes like two days ago, I'll give you like a witness report and everything. Uh, you can find us nearby in the brothel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, can you guys see me, right? Here's my wrist, just... you can handcuff me now. <laughs> I'm just sorting out my, my good mic, but I'm still here. Oh, very wonderful. <laughs> but no, he, he holds his tongue for now. For as now. Like what if you Zug, say something? As like Zug questioningly looks at Aku, Aku kind of just like side eyes him and just like goes. <laughs> <laughs> He kind of looks back at the guard and back at, we are not, and then back over again, working for Sylphrena? We don't even not. know Sylphrena. Hello. Ah, yes, we're not, as soon as he gets any sort of validation for Aiden, he's like, yes, we're not, we're not, definitely not. Oh, you're uh, making us uh, sound so suspicious. <laughs> I, uh, I, I don't really care who you are, you, you, uh, thank you for saving... <laughs> Some of, some of us and stopping that thing. Do you know what it was? Flower? Uh, uh, no, no idea. Big old magical death flower? So, so quick it's question, right. DM. Did, would Zerg have known the god that got turned into a zombie that lobbed loads of lovely worms at us? Uh, make, it, make, make, make a history check to Zerg with advantage. Okay. That is... <laughs> okay, lucky it was advantage, because <laughs> that's uh, 14, sorry, 13. 14, sorry. 14. Uh, yeah, uh, yes. Um, you would, it's not someone you would have um, like had direct impact, impact with. He wasn't part of your unit. Um, but you occasionally would have seen him at some either some like festivals or down drinking. Um, uh, Gavin. He turns around and goes, damn shame what happened to Gavin. Right, I'm going to make a wisdom saving throw for him to see if he notices uh, your uh, your unspeakable knowledge <laughs> about uh, given everything that's happened. He probably doesn't, but we'll, um, we'll roll a uh, wisdom saving throw. Uh, God, I can do a, a look like Yes, it's, it's, it's awful in Gavin and the, the others too. I suppose at least this didn't happen to them too. Do we need to, do we need to take the amulets off them? Thank you did mine. Uh, do we? I'm sorry, I'm not the magical expert, says the wizard looking man. <laughs> <laughs> And then you notice as he as he takes his like gigantic grey axe and slings it over his back, it just disappears. 
like shivers out of existence. So you're like, I don't know the magical expert. That's it. Uh, who, not who, who, who is? Kind of magic. This is, is he okay? And points over at Barnes, <laughs> like laying on the ground. Uh -huh. Doing that thing where you're cloud watching, one leg up, arms splayed out to the side. He's just like occasionally just shaking his head slowly, casting a glance back to the group, and then just looking back at the sky. Just like, huh. Yeah, I don't know, but I should probably go check. Yeah. And then it's like just kind of like <laughs> moves off. <laughs> Hayden Hayden looks at Zug as he walks off to go check on Barnes and then looks at Ake who's mute so like clearly he's not going to speak to this guard and he's like, like and he with a sigh he turns to the guard and he starts to explain okay look uh, we got here we could see that one of the guards was sweating and looking weird turned out he's wearing a necklace he didn't even realize he was wearing we helped him get it off of him that's, that's I, me you're talking about. Oh, sorry. I can tell with the helmet. Oh, it's it's... <laughs> face Ro at your Rogram at your service. Rogram, cool. Nice to meet you. Um, anyway, I uh, those necklaces are like super bad to touch. Uh, so don't touch them. But like, you also got to get them off of your pals. Is right. they're dodgy. So, um. Maybe if you guys have like a local mage or one, come help. This, this, this guy here is all tapped out and he kind of like pats <laughs> Aku on the shoulder <laughs> slash heck awkwardly behind him. He's, he's got not any magic left to help you guys <laughs> out today. So it's at this point, um, those of you still with your faculties around you, that's most of you, although Barnes might miss it, um, you hear footsteps coming from the stage. Um, as Silfrena returns, oh hell, uh, and walks over to you. Uh, do you just stop talking and stare, or do you continue uh, the conversation? Yeah, I, I guess Hayden, Hayden's finishing me like so. Anyway, um, is glad to help you out, and uh, we're done here, so we're gonna go now and he kind of turns around and then sees Silverna and then like stops in his tracks and he's like hoping that she's gonna go talk to the guard and not to him and she stops and goes you are all so brave everybody run at the sound of my words please I must know the names of the people who have saved the city insight uh, check go for it yeah Wow, I didn't roll like complete shit on an insight check. What is happening? <laughs> 16. 16. Um, face is fairly implacable. Um, you're not getting anger, you're you are getting confusion. Um, but you're also getting like a like somebody who is adapting. Every like, there's a lot of thought behind what's going on right now. There's like, you know, okay. What do I do? How do I like? How do I deal with this? Where like yeah, that. No, no, like there's not anger. There's not about to attack you. Um, you don't get, but you do get like a. There's lots of thinking going on behind that fairly plus like implacable face. I didn't kind of there's a glance at Aku to see if he gets a sense of whether Aku gives him a shrug or a frown or whatever. As Hayden looks at Aku, Aku is gonna glance at, at him, and Hayden will hear, She's definitely hiding something. I'd be careful, Hayden. We need to get, well, we need to check if Barnes is okay and get everyone out of here. Uh, it's at this point, the crowds are beginning to flow backwards as our other guards are like beginning to rush in. Um, so um... it's a friend of standing in front of you. Uh, uh, well, um, <clears throat> uh, I'm Baku and he's Baden and, um, uh, we're, we're running late actually. We have to go catch, um, a carriage, like, a so, uh, I, I, are you, nice. what do you mean? You're, you're, you're leaving, you save the city and you run? Uh, no, we, we're Wait, just... your, your audience awaits. Uh, no, 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 no,
<laughs> you, 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 you don't yeah. have to let her. She can stay. I mean, Hell do, yeah. do, do a dex You're check. A hero. See if she can do it before I pull away. Yeah, okay. Let's do a grapple check. A grapple check, <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm like, Hayden would try to get away, but also I love disaster, so I want to see if he fails this. <laughs> That's uh that's 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 a non natural non natural twenty. No. <laughs> so what am I rolling? Is this a dex He's save very... or just a regular uh, dex roll or? Uh, it's it's acrobatics or athletics, your choice. So you should be pretty good at this. I'm gonna roll my my, my less good skill. <laughs> I invite chaos into my life. Um, oh no, it's a yeah. three. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Hayden's just stunned, which is very appropriate. Like in this social moment, Hayden, she has like cards on your wrist with like a vice-like grip and holds up your hand. <laughs> um, uh, and as the no. crowds begin to return, the guards kind of, you know, a couple of them rush forward to the others and a couple of them like take their step, like swords drawn, moving towards you. She pulls you onto the stage and like makes oh. where you are, this thing's hid. Um, by the way, this thing's skull is still like laying there. Um... Um, she kind of holds up your hand and goes, Baku! <laughs> this, 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 this whole time, he's, like, trying to tug his wrist free. He's, like, looking so awkward. I yeah. imagine that, like, Zug is applauding as well. <laughs> like, <laughs> cheering for, for Baku. Whilst my wards warned you so that you are safe, heroes such as this, magic users were able to save and stop this atrocity, this attack on our city. It is men and women like, <laughs> like Baku here that will form the cornerstone of the, of the, uh, of the Amon I wish to build. Uh, the crowd kind of begins to clap and roar. <laughs> Baku, Baku. <laughs> uh, the, guards, the guards who kind of come down and get to go and seem to like clap a little bit as well. Barnes and Zug, what are you up to? I'd like to send Sylphrena a message. He just quietly says, Well, it looks like you owe us one, don't you? Zug's just leaning over Barnes oh. being like. And looks, looks, at, um, looks over at, uh, not at, at Aku, Zug, <laughs> and Barnes, not quite sure who said this. Yeah. And whispers to, uh, to, to um, Hayden. Oh, which one of your friends is speaking in my head? Uh, probably, um, uh, of Garns. Bonds would not hide his identity <laughs> at all. Well, um, <laughs> By the way, you might as well just uh, say Barnes. Could you, could you roll a deception check on just the names? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Zuck's just leaning over, over, leaning over Barnes at this point in time going, are you alright, buddy? You know, times like this, I realized that that Ascor running away and hiding all the time was actually quite useful for my job. You're a lot harder to save. Doug, do you think I'm a horrible person? A horrible... Uh, no? Really? Why, why? Why? No, we just... I mean, look, everybody's cheering us. We're very good people. I turned Lorien into a dog. Do you think he hates me now? Yeah. He probably uh, should hate me. You know... I was very upset at Ghost when he did that to me, but I got over it. <laughs> right. Not the speaking other thing he did, though. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of which, where, where is our very strange blind friend? He's sort of said he was leaving. I don't know. I guess he's hanging out somewhere. Uh, um, maybe he needed the bathroom. Possibly. It was quite a bit, a bit of a clencher, that one. <laughs> wow. Could you help me up? I don't know if I can stand myself. Ah, of course. And he kind of like effortlessly lifts you to your feet. <laughs> so great, Zog. Thank you. And he just kind of like put an arm around his shoulders and just like slump and clearly is just not used to this. Um, and you know, it's actually quite bonds. a good battle where only one of us almost died. <laughs> uh, that was really good, that one. Um, yeah. That was a good fight. Uh, Barnes are moving ahead. Here in your head in return from Sofrena, I presume this is Gans, and you're right. I certainly do. Yeah, right. Please. Yes. Scholar from the Age of Arcanum. That's me. Hello. Nice to meet you. That kind of points at the, the evil-looking skull on the ground and goes, oh, should we uh, do something about um, that? 
Oh, that? I don't know. Do you want to keep it for, like, I don't know, a mantelpiece? Do you do any taxidermy? Uh, I, I think we've had you enough know, of last keeping time skulls in this party. I, I'm not very good when it comes to collecting magical items. It never seems to work out very well for me. Uh, so Fenner reaches down for, for uh, Baden to join <laughs> on the stage. <laughs> to reaches down for Aku to join. <laughs> hey, Prince Gale. Wait, is, <laughs> she, <laughs> is she, like, still... Grabbing onto Hayden. Yes. Hayden's still trying to tug free and not mm. have We'll do success. another roll in a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Aku looks like he really doesn't want to go on stage, but as soon as he sees that Hayden is trying to tug free, Aku is going to stomp up right next to her and she is going to hear, You would do well to let my friend go. Yep. And uh, I'd like to try and intimidate her. <laughs> Go for it. Roll an intimidation Fine. check. <laughs> we have, like, the, the greatest opportunity to maybe, like, you know, turn up in this place as not enemies. <laughs> okay. We're just, we're just yeah. obsessed with making just that I just, don't, don't get me wrong, though. This isn't, like, a I'm gonna kill you intimidation. This is a you're pushing your luck intimidation. <laughs> like, he he's not making it like he's not keeping it a secret that he clearly knows there's something fishy going on with her and what's just happened. Yeah, so it kind of you slam your spear down and set march up like eyes just completely and um she, the twenty one yeah she like releases Hayden's hand. Um, however, like spinning away from you, like pausing for a second, spinning away from you, um, looking towards the crowd. Um, she uh, and looking towards the guards. Um, she extends her arms and goes. If uh, I could please be directed to um, the guards that need assistance, I will happily um, deal with these. Uh, what was what was it that was causing the issue? Um, looks around to uh, you two. Um, the n uh, amulets. Um, the some of the guards have amulets around their necks uh, that were. Uh, causing them to walk towards that flower thing. I. I don't know. Um, we we took some of them off, and then suddenly they felt a lot better, and they stopped moving towards it. So, oh, okay. But don't uh, touch yes. them because they 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 fuck you up. Not taken. I will gladly uh, deal with these. Just dispel whatever latent magic exists. Um, please, if uh, I suspect there will be no more campaigning today. Um, I suspect the guards will need it. Uh, the arms of the mom will need everybody to clear out so they can see to those who do not make it. Um, thank you all for coming out. I'm sorry this. I'm sorry this went this way, but the rest. I'm so glad so many of you made it out. Thanks again. Can I these uh, brave heroes detect thoughts when she says she's glad so many made it out? Yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, Just surface thoughts. Yeah. Um, is she glad? She's happy. She's happy, okay. Yeah. As she but, goes to shuffle off the stage, uh, like she, Zug is, she, yeah. Zug is, is, is kind of carrying Barnes, a bit like a rag doll, like <laughs> over his shoulder. He's Not making the shoulder, barest effort like... to walk. It's like really. <laughs> yeah, it's evil. fine. Like, without noticing, he's just like kind of like taking the brunt of the weight. He's like, wait, wait. Can I have your water off? <laughs> uh, 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 of course. Why would you like me to sign? Oh, uh, he kind of scrubs around. Oh, don't worry, know. don't and worry. Pulls, oh, you got something. He pulls out just like this crumpled piece of paper <laughs> that he has in his pocket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> would you like it? To, uh, I could do it on your armor or something you prefer. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I wouldn't uh, do that. I wouldn't sign the armor, uh, Zog. Uh, uh, That's yes, uh, really, you know, you don't want that to get dirty. <laughs> no, no, he, he hands over the, the bit of paper and, and then while she's kind of writing on it, he goes, Do you really think I could learn magic? Obviously, oh. keep right, he looks like it he looks like a wizard to honest <laughs> wizard. <So> sweet. <laughs> she looks at you. <laughs> I suspect your talents are far greater than you know. He's a <laughs> cosplayer. Really He's always beams. wanted to be a wizard. <laughs> she dresses like one every day. Oh, thank you. Oh, you have my vote for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're just looking like some kind of bust ass Essex Thales in a wizard hat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Comic Con Essex Thales. You know, you, you, know you, you remind me of somebody somebody I met on my travels. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, must have maybe been a relative. 
Ah, oh, I'm sure. Anyway, um, you know, good, good for you being so open and uh, out about. Uh, I know people here can be prejudiced. <laughs> yes. Uh yeah. Yeah. I, the the hat must be for the sunlight. Uh yes. Does Bad it need the point? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just for style. Oh. Helps focus his brain. You know. um, Focuses was, it all into a point. Yeah. Sharp after, intellect. After the people, oh sorry, after the, like the crowd in general, after they've been kind of you know clapping and stuff, the guards are kind of beginning to move them away from this battle zone, um, and there's kind of forming a bit of a perimeter. Um, Robin will come back to you um, and begin to kind of talk and take a report. Um, you'll see Sylphrena will begin to move over to this uh, other guard uh, well, here. While and... she's still with um, Zug yes. and Barnes, um, Barnes is going to say, oh, Sylphrena, would you maybe care to give us somewhere that we can contact you properly this time? I asked earlier, but she didn't seem too impressed, so I hope we've done enough of a show of force for you to take interest in us. <laughs> he says with blood streaming down his face, <laughs> like one eye swollen. Like utterly beat up. Uh, like hand on his hips, he's like, I'm the arcanist, by the way. It's on me, I'm the magic one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I suspect you might need some rest. Uh, and don't worry, I won't bleed on your chairs. I don't think I have very much blood left in me, to be honest. It's all come out, so... It's fine, we'll get you some more, buddy. But otherwise, mm -hmm. um, I'm probably going to retreat um, to more comfortable uh, quarters to me. I shall be um, on the Redwater Jewel. Um, it's a ship marred in the harbour. Um, you probably saw um, the captain, uh, Navendra, uh, standing next to me for my speech. Make yourself oh. known to anyone of my guards nearby. Recalled the nice boys, so you know. <laughs> what? We're not called that. <laughs> We're absolutely not called that. <laughs> as 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 somebody currently running a political campaign, doesn't really have the you know the it. It's not particularly catchy. It's a secret moniker. <laughs> well, maybe have We're a working. maybe have a secret moniker and a more public monica we do have one i'm just choosing not to tell you for, for as far as you know we're the nice boys <laughs> i will for now refer to you as the saviors of iman yeah, that works too that's pretty mm. good that's way better than the nice boys not uh, well. Well, like your name is any better <laughs> why are you called that anyway <laughs> I mean, like, you know, you wouldn't um, go into politics so, if you weren't good at branding. Like, clearly, she, <laughs> we could take some tips. So, so to clarify, just because I'm not sure this one and the kind of motions to Barnes is like, beat up face of the <laughs> I remember, do you all remember the name of the ship? <laughs> so just kind of like looks, and at this point, you notice that one of the eyes is kind of slightly lazy. And he's just going, ah. The ruby jeweled, uh, the red water ship. jewel. The red water jewel. The ship. It's not the harbor. They, all right, they'll remember. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you, Baku. Right, uh, thanks, Baku. Uh, yeah. And Gans. Baku, Gans, Baden, and. Bug. Baden. Bug. It's right. Guz, actually. I. Guz, sorry. I wish my name started. My name. If only my name started with a B, I'd fit in. What a shame. <laughs> if I need to contact you. Why does it start with a B? Uh. You can Look. send us a letter. At which address? Who? I can look sly and <laughs> and says, "Why don't you tell her our new friend's address?" Yes, oh. that's great. We can get it from there. And yeah, and so and so Hayden starts to <laughs> Sorry, list off the, the the address of Lorian's shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Because yeah, Aku suggested it, so it's definitely a good idea. <laughs> right. <laughs> to the person uh, who's trying to run for master of commerce, to a guy who definitely doesn't pay taxes. Orient <laughs> <laughs> shop. All right. <laughs> you know what? Property now. taxes are overrated. I'm very familiar with the district, although not that particular shop. Do you think <laughs> any friends of politicians pay taxes? <laughs> <laughs> We're securing your future. Place, a place you want to be. When <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. she I'm... wins, you're going to get all the alchemy contracts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe my assistance is needed. I 
think of all around your rest, um, other than perhaps uh, permission so they got any. You probably need some kind of report of what happened. Right, yeah. Why you're all here? I mean, I was obviously lucky, but you're all presumably quite powerful. Powerful Barely. individuals. Yep, that's me. I think we're just a bit lucky sometimes, to be honest. Yeah, it's just lucky shot. Please don't depend on us. <laughs> I work in mental health. <laughs> I am mental health. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, is there anything else you wish to speak to your friend or about? Or she goes off to help the guards. <laughs> just a really vague light your speech, though. It's really good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, right. Bit of a tough crowd, but... I suppose no one will remember the speech now. Shame. That was next time. Yeah. <laughs> They'll remember it more than the other guy. I didn't even get to give one. <laughs> uh, I suspect I want to tell Heinrich. <laughs> Aku is going to shift over slightly towards her, and only she is going to hear in her mind, well... It does seem like we did you quite a favour. I mean, looking around, it seemed like only your opposition's supporters. I imagine rumours would spread that if a lot of people died, it was something to do with magic? Perhaps something that a desperate politician would pull. Now, of course, we know that you would never do that, but it's very lucky indeed that we were here to shepherd everyone out the way. Definitely lucky that magical wards that didn't exist were triggered. And exceptionally lucky you were all here. I'm very glad that I was able to assist the saviors of Imon in saving good people. How how is she like saying that? Is she like responding out loud or like in your head? If you message in okay. her head, is she like? Does she look like she's being genuine? Do I have to roll another insight check or like? Yeah, roll an insight check. Are we seeing any physical signs of this? Like any uh, change are you still in reading her parents? No, no, Detect Thought sort of dropped, okay. but would be watching her pretty closely. You can all make insight checks if you would like. I don't know if you know that Aku would have asked that question. I suppose no, Aku could have no, asked no. everyone, could have sent it out to everyone. Oh, no, I just want to watch her shift in how she's been. Uh, yep, yeah, make insight checks. Um, Natty one. I think 21. She's pretty cool. 20, 21. Um, there's like a, a tiredness to her. Um, it's kind of a drooping of the shoulders, a sigh. She seems to mean what she's saying. But there's something else. Mm -hmm. Alright. Just watch as her go then. Okay, so we go start cleaning up. And the guards will begin to shuffle people out, as I said, um, and kind of form a perimeter of ring. Um, begin to kind of move all their compatriots here. Uh, what What is happening with, uh, like, None of them are going to cut the skull and kind of move away from it. I'm going to say, unless you guys interact with it, it's probably just going to lay there for a little bit. I'll, I'll probably just have to see how long you guys wait in the area if someone deals with it or not. Guys, I feel like Jamie wants us to investigate the skull. No, I don't want you to investigate the skull. I'm just saying it's there. Hmm. <laughs> Why'd you remind so, us? <laughs> group huddle, right? Group huddle. What the fuck just happened? There were guards uh, with medallions. Oh, sorry. I'm going to say that uh, Rogram has taken a brief report from each of you. Um, it doesn't seem too interested in your story. Just happy you're here. If anybody would like to say anything specific to him, let me know. Otherwise, I'll assume he's left and you're having this conversation now. Not for me, Chief. Anything I'll be than that? Uh, yeah, cool. All right. He's just going to take his report and leave and go back to things. Right. So, yeah, you guys are on your own. Group huddle then. All right. So, there were medallions that were placed. I heard Sulfrena say something suspicious in her mind about it being for the best. There was an airship from which a flower was pushed off the top, or so says Lorian's little Grungus flying friend. And there were banners upon the airship, is that that's correct, right, Zug? Did you see those? 
think you were with us, right? Somebody saw banners. Oh. Yeah, it looked like the airship that we came in on. Well, didn't come in on. Very long time ago. Right, Your I airship. I mean, it was only me and Echo on it, right? Well, when we asked Corby about it. <laughs> Sorry, I just, my headcanon right now is that Zug has literally just pulled a slice of pizza out of nowhere and is eating it during this conversation. <laughs> Fridge! You know what that is, actually? That is exactly what's happened. He pulled out a piece of jerky. It's just eating it. Lost yeah. Hello. Whatever. I'll have to pass. I always get very hungry. I'm not surprised. Well, so that's our plan for the evening, Scuppered. We're not going to any parties in this state. It's not happening, I guess. Well, we could. Yeah, why were we here? Anyway? Well, it was going to be an after party for the rally. And now Heinrich's not speaking. I don't imagine his forces or his folk will be gathering. I think you underestimate how much socialites like to drink and not care about people getting savagely attacked. And I'm right. pretty sure there'll still be a party tonight. Oh, great. Let's crash it then. Let's do that. We that should would be yeah. good. Yeah. As uh, they're saying this, um, a little sparrow uh, flutters down and lands on Hayden's shoulder and um, kind of chirps. And Hayden's like, oh, you're cute. And uh, he's got like a little like note kind of attached to his feet. And he, he pulls it off and he kind of opens it up and has a look at it. And um, he kind of holds it down so everyone else can read it. And it says, um, kind of scrawled writing, uh, Sorry for bail, am at shop. And there's a big red heart drawn underneath it. And uh, Hayden kind of frowns for a second. And then he's like, oh, I think this is from Lorian. Uh, yeah. Um, that's where he went. Do I need to apologize for turning him into a dog? He didn't seem to mind that much, actually. I feel quite bad. I'm sorry, guys. The flower got to me. It's sort of mind control. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't resist it. I'm normally pretty good at that, but... He seemed out of it for a couple of seconds, but... You're back yeah. to normal now, right? Right, super normal, yeah. I'm feeling great. Thanks for being so understanding. Happened to us all at one way or another. Don't worry about it. At least you didn't kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least I didn't do that. <laughs> cool. Uh, should we go catch up with uh, right. your savior of the day? There's yeah, thanks. Apologize to him and thank him in the same breath. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, can you carry me, please? Can I sit on your shoulders? Uh, I mean, you can, but I can just carry you. Oh, great. Let's do that. Thank <laughs> you. Um, hey, uh, nobody really stops you if you're going to go walk back. <laughs> um... As we're walking back to the shop, uh, Hayden will kind of hang back from uh, Zug carrying Barnes. And um, kind of glance over Aku and just fumble to him. Thanks for earlier. Which part? The Aku kind of grins. The, uh, the but, uh, bit on the stage part. The get in her let go of me part. He's still grinning, but he doesn't say anything. whatever and he kind of how does like hayden look is he like like does he look embarrassed that he got manhandled by a woman he look, yeah he looks kind of embarrassed <laughs> she's like a 50 year old woman right yeah. <laughs> hayden's strength strong. modifier isn't very high i don't know how she's so fast she just grabbed me before i could even realize I must be losing my touch Hayden, I wouldn't worry about it. She looked incredibly strong. You can't tell if he's being genuine. <laughs> Hayden narrows his eyes at him anyway. 
whatever. And he gives him like a little shove with his, the side of his shoulder. Aku shoves him back, but Aku's a lot stronger than Hayden and <laughs> accidentally pushes him over. He stumbles to the side and falls into a passerby. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Kind of. Um. Aku stops smiling. He actually looks like he's trying not to laugh now. Um, Jamie, can I do a slight hand check on the passerby? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> 24. Oh you opportunist. <laughs> Do I swipe their wallet with a 24? Well, your... Yeah, absolutely. It's gone. <laughs> uh, it contains... I'm going to roll for it. How much gold? Uh, it contains two gold pieces. <laughs> you worked hard for that. That was solid days wages. Like there's, a little picture, there's a little picture in there of... Like, <laughs> of a, a baby. Of like, a, like a drawn picture of a little kitten. <laughs> Oh no! Do <laughs> um, <laughs> I notice? Uh, what's, your, what's your passive perception? Mm. I don't think you notice a 25, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yep, Hayden, you got two gold, a wallet, and a picture of a cat. Oh, uh, I feel so guilty. <laughs> um. Anyway, I shove Aku in the back again and carry on walking <laughs> okay um as you're walking um walking alongside but somehow slightly melded into you um Aki, you kind of see the outline of um oh, lanaras outline around you um as you kind of he begins to talk to you that creature made my skin crawl you know what it was a, a little bit. Um, the Red Queen. You've heard that name before. Um. <laughs> it's what that thing Ascor had worshipped or was dealing with or trying to summon. But I think, uh, and could you make a, um, could you make a religion check for me? Oh yes, the very pious man that has a plus zero to religion. <laughs> Natural 20! <Yo! laughs> Alright. Um, Let's go! <laughs> like at this point you and you begin to see kind of, um, I uh, vision kind of zooms out a little bit as presumably Lanarath is thinking and you begin to um, almost peer into a separate mind dimension, whatever you want to call it. And there's like multiple things kind of, um, you see what looks to be a forest. Um, and in the forest, there's a tiny seed that seems to be a very tiny version of the thing you've seen before. Um, and it seems to be, you know, it's kind of under the ground, you see these little like tendrils um, seem to light up ever so slightly as it begins to touch and suck the life out of various things nearby as you see it just begins to rot and pull in and then it's, a creature seems to wander and touches one of these and it itself seems to go feral um, and it's, it's a similar thing but not quite as powerful has happened um, to the guard you saw earlier um, and Lanarath you know, seems to speak into your mind or these things because I've heard of these somewhere long ago in my mind. I don't know from where, but when an area or creature of a seed of rot is planted, it gradually pulls more and more into it, growing bigger, its offshoots growing more powerful, the creatures it commands more powerful until eventually like a flower it blooms and sports and spores out in multiple directions i believe the creature we just witnessed was one of the spores whether the flower or the creature within was the spore i'm unsure but i suspect wherever this came from this this is uh 
a either a scout or an invasion of itself. But there's likely a a, a progenitor originator somewhere. And I say with some understanding of the fact that that ship was coming from Craghammer, you might put two and two together about where the center of the rot might be, especially with what happened very early on in the campaign with the Goliath barbarians, with the Goliath zombies. I see. Is he like, did you say he's walking beside me? Or like... Uh, he seems to be almost melded in with you at the moment. So mm -hmm. there's like a little outline that seems to be alongside this part of him. I'm running. Aku, I guess, like, Aku's gonna suddenly sort of, like, stop smiling and kind of go quiet as he's thinking about what Lanharatha said. <clears throat> and he sort of, like, stretches a bit and hesitates. And then we'll probably say... I didn't need your help, but I appreciate the thought nonetheless. It's... Nice. To be cheered. Isn't it? Aku scoffs. That's enough nice Aku for today. Well done. Uh, okay. As you're going off, if Aku's not going to talk to the party about that particular revelation, maybe until you get to the shop. Yeah, uh, I think I think yeah. he will tell everyone kind of like what Landrath has said, like I guess in a bit of a fragmented way, like if you kind of saw some of it rather than actually was explained it, but um it will definitely wait until everyone's, you know, had a chance to sit down and get back together. Okay. Uh I'll say you guys get to the shop um and Lorian is presumably uh, there's like a knock on the door and uh Lorian is probably hiding at the <laughs> He uh, sort of like peeks from behind like a sort of ragtag mossy curtain, uh, just to sort of like check who it is. Oh, hello there. And uh, yeah, out of uh, now you've like seen them, um, you'll probably notice um, in one corner where there's like a sort of bunch of different types of flowers sort of like growing out one side of like a tree stump and things like that. There is a sunflower and lying in it is Grungus, just sort of like sleeping like with a big fat belly. Just like he's obviously just eating a lot of food because he's been like working really hard and he's knackered. He's just sort of like snoring. And, he's actually um, got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally snores. Yeah, uh, I think I totally so got him. <laughs> Great yeah, spitting then, toad. Yeah, and then then the other Grungus, the floating, the floating, more magical bubble Grungus, is also sort of like asleep between a bunch of like different jars, and you might notice there's sort of like like fairies and sprites and things around, but none that you, you, you sort of see them all around. But yeah, uh, sunflower Grungus is like having a real good time. <laughs> You made it. How are our saviors of Amon? Ugh, don't remind me. And the little sparrow that's been sitting on uh, Hayden's shoulder flutters across and returns to Lorian. Got your message. Well thank, well, thank you so much, sir. And the little bird's like, Meep. and then it just like flies out of a hole and just disappears. And he came back. I'm, I'm so flattergassed, honestly. Well, this one here, uh, Wanted to thank you, I guess. Looks at Barnes. Lauren. Yeah, from from bundled in Zug's arms, he'll probably pat me like, okay, I probably, I should probably be put down now. This is a bit pathetic, isn't it? Oh, uh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, oh, Lauren, oh, look. Fine. First of all, I'm really sorry that I turned you into a golden retriever. It's only consolation. It was cute. And it sort of suits you. And, but I'm sorry I did it. And I wasn't fully within my right sorts, so... See. My bad. Well, but um, also may, thank you. It may ease your mind to know that uh, that is not the worst creature I have been polymorphed into in my lifetime. So uh, thank you for choosing something so cute. I'm glad I didn't go for slug or something. Yeah, that would have oh, been yeah. really, really bad. Being there, being there, being there. Right. Um, but no, thank you. I could have met a pretty grisly end of that thing's sword if not for you. Second end, I suppose. So, um, yeah, I owe you a lot, actually, so. 
Uh, well, you know, uh, I, I, I don't like necessarily. Well, y'all already owe me, you know, for favors given, and don't worry about anything else. Consider me spiritually in your debt, like a gratitude so wait, sort of thing. Does that mean we're like moved out of the brothel place? Well, if we've moved no. out of the brothel, then we need to go get our hair back. Oh, I really I need say. to spend some time at the brothel later. I really, I cannot oh, move out of there. You, you, think she, <laughs> you think she's gonna give you your hair back? I mean, I well, she thought didn't that take was any implied. Of my hair. Did well, she, she not? Took my luck. I thought she took all of her hair. She took my luck, apparently. No, she took both. Wait, did she take her hair? Or am I thinking about ghost? She took our hair. She definitely took our hair. She definitely took someone's hair. Well, if you had had given some hair, how would you get it back? He says, look at Lauren. Uh, well, if I was a bewitching hag, I, I would not be given any of that hair back. That is valuable stuff and, you know, I mean, true, but, you know. What do you think she's going to do with it? Make a wig? It's... <laughs> I like you, boy. I like you. Put the boy. lotion on the skin. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I could duplicate the strands, sure. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's best you do it alone. But at a best guess? Probably nothing will kill you. Well, I'd hate for that to happen to me. <laughs> uh but if we're if we don't stay at the brothel, then where are we gonna stay? Why wouldn't we stay at the brothel? They have a sauna down there and drinks all night long. I guess I guess we'll stay there. I don't know. I mean, you're all welcome to stay on the premises if you haven't got anywhere else to go or you nervous about losing any more of your hair. But uh, it, it ain't it ain't so fancy around here. I mean, I can I can get Grungus to to heat up some water for you in some sort of sauna. But you know, yeah, yeah. I'm talking to you, you lazy oak. <laughs> um, it's probably just like a little a little frog somewhere just going. <laughs> <laughs> they seem to be speaking uh, some kind of language, but um, unless you speak Sylvan, you won't understand what they say. <laughs> If anyone understands Sylvan, you just hear a lot of cursing and fuck you, Lauren. <laughs> How did you um, meet Grungus? How did I meet Grungus? Mm. Well, I, I, you know, I've been, I've been friends with the whole Grungus family line my entire life. You know, we, we from the same parts, and uh, we, we help each other out. You know. And my colleague especially has a talent for attracting Grunguses, so... Your colleague? Hmm. Someone else works here? Oh yeah, my the co-owner of my shop here, my colleague. He he is off... I don't know, he's off hunting something. Yeah. I may or may not have set a false trail for him somewhere and he's off following it, so... Uh... Maybe he'll return, but uh, if I if I know my work, it'll be a, it'll be a little while before uh, he discovers this one. Why did you purposely get rid of your colleague? Doesn't that create extra work for you? He sort of like his his smile drops, and like he sort of realizes <laughs> what you said, and he's like, "Well, I never thought about it like that. I I just thought about what would piss him off, and just did it for the fun." Oh, I respect that. Sure, actions have consequences, but it's fine not to consider them or, or just accept them. Hmm. We have been getting a little low on stock around here since he's gone. He he is the main one who is uh, growing and creating and mixing all these things. I, I'm more the salesman type, if you, if you get me. All right, so he's the genius behind the blends. Well, I wouldn't go so far to say genius, but he is smart and he is good at what he does, so. You know, the sales part is actually very important. Oh, I haven't been very good at that. Thank you, sir. Do you tell him that? Do you tell him that he's good at what he does? 
I do. I I tell him. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's important. And the Grungus, they tell him all the time. They love him. Oh. That's great. Keep it up, little guys. Gives a little thumbs up to the Grungus family. The Grungus gives you a webbed thumbs up. <laughs> oh, look at that. So, look, Lorian. Plan earlier today was we were going to try to get into the after party for the rally. Mm -mm -mm. And I suspect it's still going to happen even after what's happened this afternoon. Why you are sharp as a tack. You're absolutely right. And you know what else, guys? I have secured you all VIP tickets. Everybody at that there party wants to meet y'all. After all, you all, the heroes of them all. Oh God! Sort sort of really people real of this hour. Wide -wide. <gasps> oh shit! Does what does my invitation say? Garns? It doesn't say Garns, does it? He, looks like he just uh, won a radio contest. He's like, wow, VIP! VIP. I've never been a VIP before. <laughs> I that want... is a damn shame. Well, you get to make your debut in high society tonight, sir. I wanted to go oh, incognito amazing. so I could. I don't like... know what I'm gonna wear. <laughs> oh, there will be no such thing as incognito for you boys tonight. Everybody saw what y'all did down there. Oh shit! How are we going to kidnap? What's her face, Eleanor? What's the point no, of being not if Eleanor. I can't... Oh, I... not maybe. Her. I to... kind of... uh... Maybe we don't have to kidnap him if we become friends with him instead. Right, I just befriend Siegfried, right? I was going to take him back to the brothel for various unsourced activities, but well, you know we can what? just be friends. We befriended Ascor, then surely we can befriend Siegfried. They're like right. two peas in Absolutely a pod, right? would not suggest befriending Ascor for a start, from what I heard about him. <laughs> I only met the guy that once or twice, but... And uh, they're he's done quite, that. He's yeah. close these days, but... Not many people around here really like him. Look, you know, he's he can be very difficult at times, but he's alright, actually. Wait, I'm sorry. My wires are getting mixed up here. <laughs> you already know him? Uh, uh, it's complicated. Not really. Yes. Kind of. Uh-huh. He's a client. We sort of look after him in various capacities from various distances. Uh, I'm kind of his bodyguard. And, and what kind of services do y'all provide other than protection to uh, this uh, strangers of Galverdine? A lot of love and affection. <laughs> Whether he's right or wrong. <laughs> no, I may and he's not be almost able to... always wrong. <laughs> no, I may not be able to see a lot, but I can sure as hell smell one. <laughs> <laughs> I've tasked myself with the gargantuan mountain of his ego, so I'll be working on that one for a long time. I see. That is very interesting. Yeah, uh, he's his therapist, and I am his bodyguard. All right. Aiden is his delivery boy, and yes. Aku is his arm candy. I see. Um, so you're sort tea of... supplier as well. <clears throat> yes. So I, I think I need to ref like this medicinal herbal here. doctor y'all are just employees of Ascor von Galvedine also, I mean listen, he's a little behind on payments so, so where is the man <laughs> we have absolutely no idea he might have been kidnapped for all we know I see I see well, uh, well, he, well... he kind of got kicked out of the brothel for okay. yeah I, I, but apparently Victoria or whatever Veronica was keeping an eye on apparently, him apparently he got his eel out of the sauna not not right. not the the eel, but like actual like actual real eel. Like right, it slithered out from under his towel and oh. started wriggling around on the ground. He's got it. He's got it. One of the Grungus. One of the Grungus turns over and is like, he's got he's got, oh, no. he's got a sea life problem. Okay. <laughs> All right. Have we told you that there are two Ascor von Galverdanes? Oh. I don't think we have. What? No, Larian, <laughs> you're just indoctr indoctrinated into the family now. Uh, uh, you're just uh, sort uh, of one of us. No, I, yeah. I do not. If you spill any of our no, secrets, I, I we will think... kill you. Oh, I see. Right. Well, you would have to find me first, sir. But oh, we're quite good at that. Let... Aiden will do it. 
What? <laughs> Right, so there are two Ascor von Galverdanes. Mm. One of them is a doppelganger. That's for close Ascor. One of them is an illicit magical traveller who's actually not been here for the last age. That's our Ascor, who we've sort of been safeguarding and dealing with his shit. I've not had to deal with it for very long, but they have. Yeah. Ages, actually. So, we're trying to unravel the mystery of the family Galverdane. And maybe, like, I don't know, they they'd sort sort of like... I don't know, throw Ascor in the bin if they knew he could do magic, right? So, yeah, yeah they're very like anti magic. In a way, we are actually kind of employed by the Galvadanes. Galvadane. A Galvadane. To investigate the Galvadanes to find out what's going on because they've got some sort of a mole. And imposter, you know, I think if it all ganger. goes, if it all goes really wrong, we just tell the world that Heinrich von Galverdane's son is really magical and he stands for everything that, you know, his father does not. And then it just discredits his whole house campaign, family and life and ends it all for him. Which I have a feeling Asko would not like us doing that. No, but we can make the decision for him, you know. Ah. <laughs> uh, Lorian really has unhappy. a sort of conflicted looking expression on his face and he just says, uh, well, while I would found that all very amusing you you have to look at the bigger picture sometimes you know uh while that is all very well put in uh Heinrich in in the mud it, it's not just him that relies on the Galverdane name nor is it Ascor there is a whole operation whole family members there are four Galverdane sons for a start and they're not all so bad but we can use it to twist Heinrich's arm to at least get him to stop trying to wait, assassinate wait, wait his son. Did you did you say they're not all so bad? They're not all so bad. Oh, we chose the bad one. Yeah, that 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 is why I was so surprised. Oh, that's unlucky. You, you that was a unlucky draw for y'all. I I thought Siegfried was pretty bad. Is he bad? Maybe Siegfried's not a bad guy, and like the reason he tried to assassinate Ascor is because Ascor's like a piece of shit. Well, also because he's magical, right? Well, yeah, there's that. And a piece of shit, to be honest. Well, but... Yeah. Fair enough, really. Yeah, I have not had the pleasure of meeting Ascor really in person, but I've seen him around and. Yeah, these days it sounds like he's much more reclusive than he used to be, strutting around a mon, putting folk in their place. Being a he never came down head. here, of course. I mean, why why would he why would he come down here where us normal folk live? But yeah, that's that's the sort of thing I heard about him. But no, they they are not all like that. You know, maybe I should find out where Ascor actually is. Oh, we just like do that scry thing. Well, one second. Uh, I'm going to cast sending and just stare off into the corner and say, Ah, uh, score, where are you after you got kicked out of the brothel? Are you hanging out in a different one? Where did we find you? <laughs> Hope you're good. We nearly died, by the way. We're heroes. <laughs> you know, it's so funny that I thought that when y'all walked in here that you were the boss. And uh, this is also interesting. I'm the absolute Weird. opposite of the boss. I have no uh, idea what's going on. I'm sort of like the eccentric tag along. In your head, you hear, message me, you idiot. I'm in my house, watching that bastard who's taken my spot. Oh. Shit, I think he's been kidnapped and taken back home, boys. Wait, so what? He sounds a little gagged. No! And oh, not in, God not in damn the fun it, he's way. gonna be so mad. He said he's watching- There goes your bonus, Zug. <laughs> right, he said he's watching that bastard take his spot. Seems a little upset we didn't contact him earlier. Fair enough. We sort of just left him to it. Um, maybe. Oops. Well, where's the rally party happening tonight? It's not at. You're like such a fool thinking that he can handle himself. But it, hang on a second. That. I thought that Veronica was supposed to be watching him. Wait, it wasn't Veronica, was it? Say she, uh, she, she, had him, she said she had him followed, but you guys didn't really give her any indication of what you wanted to done with him. <laughs> um, did well, we on. not? Ah, mm, yeah, that's <laughs> true. So, alright, so this party later, it is 
The friend Siegfried. It is get information out of the family Galverdane. It is also rescue Asgore, who well, has it, been kidnapped before and it, we're saving him again. Is the party at the Galverdane estate or is it somewhere else? Because... I thought it was. Is it, Lorien? Do you know where it is? Looking at Lorien and waiting for a response from Jane. <laughs> I believe it is the Galverdane residence. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Yeah, of course. I mean, they have all their own security and they get to do things the way they like so How and of course they get to, to show off their estate and their uh, yeah. best amount of will private security hey, ain't that what you are sir i'm not private security actually so, well, so i am is... private security but i wasn't always private security i was public but security but you are now okay so... i know but i'm not like them they are the cowboys you would never sell out Right. Well, well we I'd have said that. We need a plan. If we're going to this, if we're going to this rally party tonight, some of us need to go find Ascor. Some and... of y'all need to find a path. Right. Point taken. How long do we have? Because me again. Honestly, I think I need to sit and stare at a wall for about four hours, and I'll feel a lot better. I got some berries long? for that. Jamie, how long do we have till the party? Uh, it's probably midday. Party starts at eight, so eight hours. Right. Yeah, I need to sit and just exist and Can think you about life. Some, like special spell to make time travel like slower. No. Is it stuff? No, I can teleport to Rosanna, and we can ask Asik Taylor to do that for us. Oh. I don't, I don't think that's going to help you out if you're no. feeling a bit tired. I don't seriously suggest that. No, I'm just going to sit, chill out, have an internal crisis, and try not to externalize it too much. Um, also, we need to go shopping. Yeah, we need something to wear to this rally. It's, uh, the last outfit I wore to a party I threw in the bin. Well, that's pretty gosh darn wasteful of you. Can you not just turn up in armor? I would not recommend that. Well, we are heroes of Amon, so maybe they would kind of expect us to show up in, like, adventuring clothing. Uh, I think given that you have VIP invitations, they understand that you know the sort of soiree that it's going to be, and they will expect a certain turnout. I want to wear these funny old person clothes. They're so quaint. Hey, Bonds. Hey, this Zug. Um... Disguise thing, the hat. Yes, you your hat. They'd, do you think they'd notice it if I walked into a Galvatine residence? Like they'd have Unlikely. some sort of like magical way of detecting that it's. A I would hat. normally say yes, but if they're the Galverdanes and they don't do magic, then probably not. Yeah, but they also might distrust magic. I think yeah. they'll be doubly upset if they figure it out. There's oh. actually, there's actually a fortress in uh, Gracklestook that when you walk through it, there's a barrier that stops all magical effects. So if you've got That's what I on, meant. I, I, yeah, I, so, I heard about it. So I mean, like, they might be anti-magic, but they might be willing to have one of those at the front door. So, yeah, you, you know, it's, it's a reasonable concern. The yeah. Um, I, what, but the thing is, they know Essek Talus with eyes slightly farther apart than normal as the hero of Amon. Would um, Lorian know the details of having been to the Galvadin residence a couple of times? Like, what they got? Um, you know that the Galvadins are pretty anti-magic, and there are anti-magic areas within their residence. There are certainly areas where magic is stifled, if not outright repressed. I, I would recommend coming as you are. Damn. Well, well, wait, but that's good, though, because we need someone who's not recognizable to go find Ascor. And right. so, so Zug, you go we in as yourself. someone not recognizable like a wanted man. Zug and Larian, between the two of you, you'll be perfect. Oh, I don't know about that. I, I do not plan on sitting around that house. I got an I idea. Got God. Zug. Yeah. You, you get an old... Amon guard uniform with the helmet. The helmet will keep you disguised. You go in as a guard to like security the event, and then no one's okay, gonna I have question you. If you security. 
They, they would never hire an Amon guard. You sure? They don't use, like, the Amon guards? No, or... they spit on us. Oh. Well, what, what does private security wear? Get yourself hired. <laughs> That's genius. I'll just, I'll just go get a job. Oh, God, if well, I could get you hired. You privileged folk. I can bullshit my way through anything. <laughs> we can help you write up a good... I was going to say, are you sure this isn't kind of like one of those fancy masked balls where we can wear masks? I don't is... think so. Is Damn. it a costume party? That would be, are, are we that would be very convenient for me, though. That would be very, very convenient. <laughs> That's a damn shame. The best okay. of an it's not a Florian. It is not a costume party. <laughs> <laughs> or, or a masked ball. Damn. It is a very it, formal it, event. One of my Romeo plus Juliet moments. Meant to raise, meant to raise money <laughs> on, for the Galvadane. <laughs> uh, Lauren, uh, what did Hayden just say, sorry? Is it a costume party or something? N what? No. I don't know who asked that. I, I asked if it was a costume okay. party. Uh, actually, I should double check that dress code, actually. Uh, and he sort of like whistles and it sounds like bird calls and then a little bird flutters down. Now, would you do me a kindness and <laughs> the bird's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, now you go check on that. Be back in a minute. She's just gonna go check if it has a dress code, and she'll be right back. Lorian is like that. a Disney princess. I was about to say, it's very Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Little toads and birds. I love it. Um, the bird spits on you as it leaves. No, it doesn't. <laughs> um, right. I, will, I will find out in advance of you making your way to get an appropriate attire for the evening. Yeah. Oh. So, Zug, you're a Going to get yourself hired, or we'll get you hired somehow. Larian, do you heist? You said you heist, right? This is definitely becoming another heist. That <sighs> is gonna cost you. Well, the payment you require is the my services for a heist, which you have not paid for. You pay for information. Hayden, Hayden opens up the wallet that he swiped earlier and looks inside. It says, I'll pay two gold coins and a drawing of a cat. While that offer is mighty tempting, Hayden, uh, I'm gonna have to pass. That does not cover the cost. This is a very, this is a very good drawing of a cat. Come on. Well, what could we do to get you along? Because it sounds like, well, it seems like you have the perfect skill set. You got your birds. You can scout for Asgore. Little Grungus can go in and like chew through his restraints. It's almost like pulling hasts is uh, something that I'm pretty good at. Right. Mm. Regal we have gold. You have gold now. We do. Quite a lot of it, actually. Four gold coins. That's double my original offer. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think on it. And you, you. Oh, here he is, and the little bird comes back, and uh, he's like on Lorraine's finger. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Well, it is certainly a good thing that y'all asked, because there is indeed a theme for tonight's celebration. In honor of the most pious Henry Falgavardine, Falgavardine, Jesus, um, <laughs> they have set the theme uh, to be, uh, and to pay respect to some of the hardest working folk out of Amman. The theme tonight is uh, pimps and priests. Oh my god. This, re this represents... <laughs> yes, this represents two integral parts of the commerce of Amon, which is making money by earning it, whether that be on your back or, you know, however you choose to do it. Or a lot in of a respect church. For this, or, you know, donating a portion of your earnings to the faith in order for those lessons. I mean, I, I ain't so religious myself, but... This this is how it is. So, uh, yeah. So uh, about check. getting about <laughs> getting that ting. job. <laughs> is it a thing in this timeline where you wear priest outfits in the bedroom and you sort of is that like a thing that you do? You can definitely do an insight sir, check. You but... can, sir, you can do whatever you like in the bedroom. Nobody is gonna judge you there. Aku looks quite scandalized. 
at uh, Barnes talking about wearing priest wear in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> sort right. of like a novelty in the Age of Arcanum. Like, uh, was it Hayden who asked priests? for the insight check? Yeah, 16. Yeah. Uh, perception <laughs> check. 16 probably is not high enough. <laughs> I'm definitely rolling this. 29. 29. 29. Only, uh, right, so, so both of you are like you're, you're you're both still a little suspicious, but like Lorian is telling this with a deadpan face. There is no humor. The bird is like the bird almost like looks at you and nods <laughs> a little bit as well. <laughs> like we're both like this is a really weird theme, but the guy like Askel's pretty weird. Like <laughs> I mean, yeah, like I'm I'm kind of not surprised. It's the Galverdanes like kind of messed up. I think I actually yeah. heard something like this before. This is what you well, do in this timeline, then. Go yeah, for it. Maybe I should have kept that old outfit. Uh, Barnes about getting me that job as a guard. Do you want to be a priest or a pimp, Sug? Neither. I want to be a guard. <laughs> right, so we're definitely doing <laughs> that. Y'all can be hoes as well. That is on the dress code, too. Aku, <laughs> do you want to be a pimp, a priest, or a hoe? <laughs> <laughs> well. well, there's three of you. You could all be one. <laughs> right, one of each. <laughs> What are you uh, what are you gonna wear, Lorian? Uh, well, the Galverdanes are known uh, worshippers of the platinum dragons, so I have acquired myself a very striking platinum suit in order to best represent the priest that fight. Right. You're going to wear that when you go heisting for us, are you? Well, I, I do have a couple of tricks up my sleeve and uh, he oh. sort of like moves his hand and uh, sort of like uh, leaves just come from nowhere um and sort of like instantly are gone at the same time as he sort of like goes whoosh. and um his hair is a different color he's got like uh maple leaves kind of like coming out of like one side of his head and his hair's kind of like auburn and red his uh his skin has gotten a lot paler and lighter and it's very like kind of like like moonshine kind of and uh you can't see his eyes or anything but uh he's able to sort of he's just completely changed his sort of like visage and like his tattoo is like different leaves and uh has kind of like uh movement on it as well he just sort of like has just managed to just change his appearance kind of like at a whim you know i where i'm from we are we are all very blessed with a certain set of skills right blessed we're duly impressed so you're a priest changing your hair and all that hayden well, I'm not. Uh, his head and all the leaves fall off. <laughs> I'm not going as a hoe again. I swear. Are you feeling? Are you feeling Man. pimp a little bit? Can we get you a cane and a funny hat, maybe. Yeah. Um, I could could be your hoe. That's what uh, the pimps in the world look like. Um, we oh, saw one. we all saw one. We well, I could, you can be the pimp if you'd like, and Hayden could be your hoe. You can sort of mix it up. Um. Uh Apply very carefully, Hayden. Insight check on them both at the moment, please. Go for it. <laughs> I'll give it to you for free. Hayden's uh a red blush is creeping up his neck and onto his face <laughs> after you mentioned Aku being a pimp and Hayden being a hoe. <laughs> Alright, so we have one in accord. <laughs> That's uh 19 for Aku. <laughs> How's Aku reacting, or do you want to roll for it? Aku is clearly looks annoyed at the idea of priests, like people dressing up as priests going to a party. But at the mention of Hayden dressing up as a hoe, he looks pretty annoyed, like more than annoyed than before. Oh. oh. Pimp Hayden Ho Aku. <laughs> I'll be a priest and anoint no. the two of you. <laughs> Perhaps Aku here would uh, be in, if I understand, I, I, I know it's been a while since uh, we spoke. You're you're a man of the cloth, a sort of hold a lot of faith. Perhaps a priest would be more appropriate attire for you, sir. Then it's not a costume, is it? He's just like that. Embracing uh, the, the word Sorry. of. Uh, your god, sort of. How, uh, okay, so how about we just we just all go. So uh, Aku is 
you know, the priest of Sylvanas, and I'll just be a follower of Sylvanas, and we can just stick to one theme, and there doesn't need to be any hoes or or pimps, or we could just. Well, you 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 would not want to, you know, spurn the good faith of the Galverdane family. They have extended an invitation to y'all, even though you're strangers. I know you're no Ascor, but he certainly did not secure this invite. And from the sounds of it, he's in quite the pickle. I would do your best to ingratiate yourself to your new hosts tonight. Yeah. Embrace the theme wholeheartedly and without any irony. One of us has to be a pimp, so I guess it'll be me. I'll do it. I'm perhaps with that described, <laughs> we will <laughs> leave this <laughs> session. Um, the group in a whether or not they've realised it, um, in a fairly precarious position. Aku has some revelations that may need to come out next session as to what exactly you're for, what it means um, for where you're going, and both parties have invited you. Um, so Frenna onto her ship, um, Heinrich Galvedain to his party. Going to either one could implicitly endorse support for your weight behind each candidate. And given you've been thrust into the limelight of this election, those people you were attempting to hide of may have got some note of your description. <laughs> and, <sighs> and we'll see what happens next week. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you, Rupi, for hosting. Um, hope you had a good stream with Adam Ring. Um, otherwise, we'll see you Tuesday. Um, thanks for watching. And do we have a host, Erin? Oh, well, before you all go, oh, uh, if you guys enjoyed our stream, please do consider following. It's free and you can change your mind at any time. Uh, also, you can check out our Discord, um, which most of you are actually already in because a lot of Rupi's friends are in our Discord. Um, but if you're not, <laughs> Come check it out. It's a uh, Dungeons and Dragons themed Discord, so you can come meet other play people to play D and D with, uh, share stuff about your characters, your stories, fun campaigns, or just memes. So uh, we also talk about video games as well, of course. So yeah, come and join. Uh, I've just put the link in the chat, so you can come check it out. And um, I did not prepare a raid, so I'm gonna find someone really freaking fast. Um, we are gonna raid. Uh, Brett Ultimus. Yeah, Brett Ultimus. <laughs> We're gonna raid Brett Ultimus. Yeah. Big up Brett. <laughs> Big up Brett. So, um, everyone, Go. come hop in the raid, and we're gonna hope, head on over there. Um, so yeah. Um, all for coming. Hope to see you on Tuesday when we're back at 7 p.m. Uh, UK time. For uh, probably dressing up as priests, hose, when and back. when Luke's I'm back, I am so back excited time for us to dress up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, I, you guys. Yeah. Alrighty. Bye. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye 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 bye. bye.